that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. you don't have to go too fancy with it. Or you can put some in between some pearls, for example. Oh, it'll be lovely with awesome. pearls. Okay. Well, yeah. don't forget, you go, you go back to Queen Elizabeth II, if we can show that literature. Um, Queen Elizabeth II, she had an un faceted look at the bottom paragraph 1963 queen elizabeth uh, was presented with a tiara um, uh, in which the central gem was a natural unfaceted moldavite surrounded by diamonds and pearls this was presented to her by the swiss government in order to celebrate her 10th year on the throne not calibrated um, and look pearls diamonds surrounding the moldavite so which was mm. the stone that they wanted to showcase was it the pearl or was it the diamond or was it this this absolutely amazing Amazing one locational stone. It is, like I said, and I know I've been going on and wax uh, harping on for the past what 20 minutes. It is the most exciting story that I think exists out there in all of your gemstones. It comes presented in your beautiful golden box. box two, uh, two and a half carats, basically, of this beautiful treasure. Let me just take this out. So you can see, it's a it's slider bracelet and actually maybe a matching pair of earrings. Have you ever seen Moldavite at twenty nine ninety nine? No. No, nor me. <laughs> nor me. It's rarer. Let's, let's, let's throw some gemstones out there. Is Moldavite rarer than sapphire? Yes. Is it rarer than diamonds? Absolutely. Is it rarer than rubies? Most definitely. Is it rarer than amber? Absolutely. Is it rarer than... Um, throw some gemstones at me, Monica. Oh. Huh? Ah, sorry? Tourmaline. Tourmaline, yes. Uh, spinel. Definitely. Um, appetite. Absolutely. <laughs> Every gemstone that you're going uh, to throw at me, more than likely the answer is going to be yes, because this is found in one tiny, tiny, tiny location that exists. So many of you there. Peeping, people wanting to get multiples, make sure you do check out those baskets to guarantee your success. Oh, wow. Moldavite. Beautiful. If you're thinking it's, it's quite glassy, yeah, it's a variety of tectite. Very rare. And under a loop, under magnification, you will see, uh, you will see these teeny weeny little gas bubbles. That's the gas bubble, bubbles that NASA tested to find that the pressure is that equivalent of 13 miles above our Earth's atmosphere. Shouldn't be happening. I mean, 29.99 was already an absolute giveaway oh. deal. It's Monday morning, so why not? Make sure you do check out, though, because we had 150. That being said, though, it's a big quantity for Moldavite. It's a very small quantity for the deal of the day, the biggest auction um, of the day. Uh, we're well aware, when it comes to a gemstone of this caliber and this scarcity, that we do have fully-fledged jewelry houses that will come and shop directly from us because the limitations of this gemstone... Yes. I'm still thinking of gemstones to throw at you. What about Laramar? Because <laughs> Laramar is quite rare. I'd say probably like for like. Yeah. Good one. That's a good one to throw because Laramar equally is, um, is very, one locational yeah. um, and equally uh, um, get more difficult to mine mm. and get hold of. So Laramar is probably like for like. That's yeah. a good one. Ooh. Have you got any others? I've been wrecking my brain. <laughs> wrecking your brain. <laughs> wrecking your brain. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I can't give you the, the, the scientific definition, yeah, yeah. but probably, yeah, I would say Laramar probably is as rare. Um, as rare as Moldavite. Imagine those two together. Oh, yeah. Your one locational stones team together. Stay where you are on those phone lines, jewelry makers. I'm going to make my way over to lovely Monica because we've still got so much more to bring you, including Toby Cavill, who's joining us in about half an hour's time to talk about another very rare gemstone, very exciting, and that is uh, your Appetite all brand new beautiful strands. Making my way back to lovely Monica. Oh, you've hopped off your chair now. I have. I have to stand They're for not a little the most bit comfortable I've sitting, chairs. I've been sitting for too long. You so. need to stretch your legs. <laughs> stretch your legs. Right then. Okay, Monica, where do we go from here? Sorry? I don't see it. This! That is not grand digerite. Wow. When did what? When did we, when did we do Grand Did You Write Chips and Nuggets? 
Launched in 2020? But wait a minute, hang on. Hang on a second, I'm hiding a little bit. So, Grand Digerite, one of the world's top, top 10 rarest gemstones. There's 4,000 minerals that exist on this planet. Imagine being part of the top 10, usually three, if not one. Actually, probably is one now because the, uh, um, the Madagascar mine um, I was learning recently is no longer actually not unearthing at the moment. So it might even be number one because the status of gemstones rarities goes up and down. Mm -hmm. Grand Digerite is a really beautiful, rare, teal colour gemstone that many people will never have even heard of. I hadn't heard of it before jewellery maker. So when, I was to, when I'm to say, here we go, you're getting a strand of Grand Digerite, most of us would assume it would be this. Yeah. Like Moldavite? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it just goes on and on. <laughs> wow. I'm genuinely speechless because that's also beautifully translucent. Jim... You should expect Grand Digerite to have an, uh, an opacity. You should expect Grand Digerite to be quite dark in its colour. The more Paraba-like, the more valuable, the more translucent or even, even eye clean, which some of these are, the more valuable. I can't believe we've done a strand like this. Look, seriously, let's get up close and personal. Look at my body language straight away. I'm hankered right over. Oh, my goodness, we look at the quality. Ben, can we get closer? Hello, Ben, by the way. Look at that clarity. Wow. I didn't even recognise this was grand, did you write? Do you know what I thought it was? I thought it was appetite, yeah. I thought it was appetite yeah. because also, on what planet would anybody assume 125 <laughs> carats of Grand Did You Write in one strand? <laughs> right, we're going to go straight down with this. We don't want to waste time. We're not going to. We're not going to tick away. How many? What? Remind me, Laura, where it's going to? Because I'm at. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Wow. Do it though. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Collectors, connoisseurs, getting, get involved for sure. Um, here's a gemstone that is rarer than Moldavite. Here is a gemstone that definitely is. It's not been unearthed for, 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 for decades. It wasn't even being unearthed from the ground. We found, not we personally, but um, the Madagascan deposit was found relatively recently. Um, there are rumors now that that's no longer in production, putting it back on top in terms of the rarest gemstones that physically exist. When I was over in Tucson, there are certain gemstones that got the limelight. This was one of them, not because it was accessible, but because that news had been broken to the market. At 19 pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of Grand out to be a custodian of this gemstone. Because that's the thing, it's not something for your stash, is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a custodial strand, something that you purchase to, to pass on to future generations. Um, can I just ask someone to scooch over the call screen so I can say hello to everybody? £20 only uh, for natural Madagascar and Grand Digerite. And yeah, the colour, the translucency and, and clarity, I genuinely thought was maybe one of one of uh, so Toby's uh, Toby's appetite sky blue yeah, appetite. That's what I thought it was because it's been it's been there since this morning, hasn't yeah. it? Mm. It's probably the best colour I've seen in appetite here at JM. Would we all agree with that? Sorry, see you, there I am doing it again in Grand Digirite. <laughs> it's the best colour I think I've ever seen in this gemstone because normally it can be quite dark, which I still which I still absolutely love by the way. But look at that clarity. And you get 84 centimetres of it. Again, Monica, what would you do with something like this? Oh, I would put it with the, um, with the Ethiopian opal. Oh, yeah. The magnet strand that we had earlier. Yes. Oh, what about with some pearls? Because I was, I was thinking when we had that on, I thought that would look nice with something blue. So this, this oh, would lovely. Nice that. Yeah, but pearls as well. Oh, but yes. did you, when you saw that, that Ethiopian opal strand, and they were sort of in the same proximity, weren't, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, um, I do have Laura. 
a very short PowerPoint on that. This is your Millennium Jade or British Columbian Jade. Ooh. So it comes from that one location. Most people think Jade is only found in Burma. Um, it's not. It's very rare. Both your Jadeite and your Nephrite, again, two different varieties of uh, under the Jade umbrella. Um, also mine in British Columbia. Currently, 90% of British Columbian Nephrite Jade will actually go direct to China. Um, that remaining 10% will actually go to the likes of your uh, Tiffany's & Co. for your Elsa Peretti designs, um, your uh, Van Cleef & Arpels. Um, they're, they're the establishments that we should expect to see this location. Now, it's the same location as Millennium Jade that you see in Van Cleef, in Tiffany's. I would love you to Google if you've got an extra... Uh, Google this for me. Elsa Peretti Nephrite Jade. Because Elsa Peretti, she's one of the main headline designers, uh, historical designers at the Tiffany's house, jewellery house. She works with this very same material and the same location. What you'll notice from the designs, this is on the Tiffany's & Co website, we're literally just doing it live. Um, she'll take one single piece. Yeah, the little bean. I like the little bean. Look at that. £1,625. So here we go. And wow. I'll read the description. Elsa Peretti's iconic bean design is a symbol of life's uh, origins. A beautiful, humble form. The bean's simple shape, natural contours and smoothness always appeal to her. The, the sculptural organic, uh, organic collection captures Peretti's signature talent for creating irresistibly tactile objects that remind us of the beauty, uh, uh, us of the beauty inherent in nature. That's a tiny carrot weight. It doesn't even mention the carrot weight, actually. What, 18 millimetres? There we go. Um, 18 millimetres in size. Well, most of these are actually bigger than that. They're the same material. You've got beautiful translucency and natural colour. How many have we got of these? There are 96 opportunities. This is what we refer to as your Millennium Jade. That's not just our terminology. That's a, a sort of a global terminology, Millennium Jade. And that's because the discovery itself, there was a vast boulder of beautiful nephrite jade um, that came from the British Columbia. And historically, that paved the way to this location. Um, it's called, well, the, it was the discovery of a millennium, hence the name. Yeah. Beautiful, natural nephrite green for. For twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, again, a, 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 such a collectible opportunity. And I bet if you look through that strand, you'll find one that's kind of bean shaped. Bean shaped. <laughs> well, she does lots of different shapes as well. She does these kind of. Um, yeah, I like that. I mean, you. Yeah, look at that one. That one could be bean shaped. <laughs> that could be a bit of a bean, couldn't it? Literally just one on a sterling silver chain. These are all natural colours. Not impregnated, not dyed, almost Zavarite rich in terms of colour saturation. Oh, they're amazing. I love Millennium Jade. The translucency that you get across each and every single one of these. Leaving that with you. Should we do a big chain bundle? I launched these. They were a previous deal of the day, Monica. Wow. I know. Now, these are base metal. Yeah. Now, there was a, I, Laura won't know this, but there was a mistake. We do make mistakes. <laughs> Quite a lot sometimes. Um, but it's all good. That's for half of the appeal, though, right? Um, so, yeah, here's, here's myself and my producer prepping for the show when we were launching this. And it says in the description, five chains. Oh. It's not five chains. No, it it's like ten. five designs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two of each. Oh, they've changed it. But look, though, question mark. Ten pieces? You do get ten pieces. <laughs> it's ten pieces across the five different styles. Look, no question mark. You do get the ten pieces. So that is two of your curb chain, two of your belchers, two of your paper links, Two of your uh, sort of twisted Figaro designs, which one am I missing? And two of your uh, 
standard Figaro's. Five different styles. This was a deal of the day that I launched only a, last week, was it? Maybe even the, uh, maybe the tail end of the week before. Only recently. And Laura, how many do we have left? 69. Okay, well, we had, I think, 500 or something like that in terms of quantity when they first launched. We, we briefly discussed this earlier on, and particularly with today being Nugget Day. Um, there is a place for base metal chains. There is, of course. I mean, imagine if you if you have a craft store, for example. Yeah. Um, and you're selling your beautiful pendants. You know, somebody might want to buy a pendant, but they might not have a chain. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to spend a huge amount. Or they might have a chain at home, but in the meantime, they want to be able to wear it or something like that. You know, if they have a sterling silver chain at home, yeah. they can use this, uh, you know, when they don't want to wear the sterling silver it's one. It's budget, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's been yeah. able to cater to everybody's budget, which really is the whole ethos of, of, of the Gemporia partnership, isn't mm. it? It's been able to, instead of working at like 400% margins on the, uh, yeah. and selling few, yeah. we would love to, uh, we work on the, the minuscule margins and sell literally hundreds. These are going to go crazy, but they're the last remaining few. We had about 500, I believe, uh, when they were first launched to the world. You get five designs, two of each of those designs, so a total of 10. That's a pound per chain. Um, I was holding these up to the neckline so you can actually see how beautiful they are against the decolletage. Some of you would have had these home now, and maybe you're thinking, oh, I wish I'd got more. Definitely. I mean, I mean, look at that up against the decolletage. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, imagine if you had this display on your craft store and said, you know, you can pick whichever chain you like for five pounds each. Yeah, you, you haven't know? done anything to it. Yeah. That's still, you know, your, your, your high street shops, your H&M. But, your... but even if you're gifting somebody a, a pendant, if your specialty is pendants, you know, it's, it's always nicer to give it on a chain than just a pendant, you know. Lovely. Hello, Alison. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Some of those would be lovely on Monica's bags. Yes. Ooh, That's a great yeah, idea. Yes. yes. Perfect idea. So it costs you a pound each. But also you can layer them up, the different styles. That would yeah, be really lovely Yeah, I as love well. that. Yeah. And you wouldn't be too reluctant to cut these, would you? Yeah. You know, if you're thinking about making anklets or, 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 or earrings, for example, so they're coming into the season of anklets, aren't we? Well, we are. Well, one of those chains would be enough to make an anklet and have some leftover for some earrings. Exactly. It, and all five different designs. Yeah, so there was a bit of an error. I was like, oh, it's, it's five chains. I even said that on the promo. Five chains. <laughs> no, ten chains. Just five designs. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Okay, let's bring you... Oh, the clovers, these are beautiful. I don't know if you've seen these before, Monica. They were launched again. Flew, absolutely flew. I think they were an early bird. Um, I'm just borrowing this blackboard for a second. If I turn it that way. Oh, yes. These are gorgeous. So, yeah, you've kind of got like a clover design or a flower or hearts as well. Was it you and I, Monica, that launched these? Um, I have seen them before. I don't remember if that was the launch or not, but I think they've got several holes that you can go through it was you and i because i can remember you saying that mm. i remember you saying that because you said you could i'm sorry for messing my talk back all the time um you could almost use them to gather them together yeah. use it as a connector yeah so if i actually hold it this direction can you see so really generous apertures now these are 925 sterling silver beautiful uh little flowers or hearts you've got sentiment within there as well we bring you spaces on a regular basis but more often not they're actually the just you know, sort of plain rounds so it's nice to have a little bit of a detail it is definitely yeah i mean if, if you had like a multi-strand necklace even if it was a chip necklace because we've been yeah. having the nuggets um, and you had sort of three strands and you just gathered them together on the side with one of those. That would look really lovely, Beautiful. I think. Beautiful. I'd use it with a nephrite mm. that we've just seen. 1.35 grams. These absolutely flew when we had them, when we launched them only a few days ago. Again, I know we've only got a limited quantity of these, Laura. Is that, is that as, yeah, 83, yeah. Um, when we bought them, uh, basically as an essential, um, you know, when we used to have lots of different sort of designs of your spacer beads, we used to have filigree, we used to have your stardust, and yet we haven't seen many of those recently. These flew, absolutely flew out the door. And again, very apt for the spring and summer months. 
yes. Oh, or the Moldavite we had, put one of these in the middle of the oh. Moldavite and just have that as a, yeah, as a bracelet, a full bracelet. What yeah. about incorporating them into seed beading? Could I, because oh, you yeah. can sew through, couldn't you? You can, well, because it's got the holes in sort of all different directions, I think. Uh, do you mind if I have a closer look? Yeah, please do. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, you can go through it in any direction that you like. So that's really handy with your, with your seed beading. So if you wanted to uh, um, almost use them like as a crossroads? Yeah, you can use it as a crossroad or you can just stitch it on to the top of your seed beading as well because you can go through it in different directions as Love. well. So that would work. But also you can embed it into your, um, into your delicas because uh, it's about the same height as a little bit higher um, on its side than, yeah. than well, your delicas would be. So Six millimetres in their size. Um, stay where you are on your phone lines, everybody. Congratulations. Have I got some earrings? Ear uh, no. No, no, I don't have them here. Oh, I do have the most amazing ametrine, though. Yes, I've been looking at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I wow. bought an ametrine. It's actually the first stone I bought when I came to work here at Jewelry Maker. And... The ametrine that I bought, which is set in 14 karat white gold, is no way near as amazing as this stone. This stone is utterly beautiful. Take a little look. Um, ametrine is quite often actually cut into your octagon cut. So you, wow. And the reason for that is so it can show just how amazing this natural 50-50 split is. Um, look at that. A rare, again, one locational gemstone forming within uh, Bolivia. Um, in this one location, you have a fusion of beautiful amethyst and citrine, and it's a very gentle fluctuation during uh, the, uh, the, the gemstone's actual formation, um, which occurs and achieves this beautiful bicolored stone. Like I said earlier on, this is far better than my ametrine that I actually sourced some 10 years ago um, in a finished piece of jewellery. And it's all about the distinction between, you know, the, the, you know, the intensity of the amethyst purple and also uh, the beautiful warmth that you see within your citrine. Again, we launched this not so long ago. This is premium, premium quality, the kind of oh, quality that you would, you'd imagine in, in your sort of Larique designs. Yes, yes. I, w I would take that to a jeweler. Me too. To have it set in something. Yeah. yeah. Laura's just said in my ear, I can't believe you launched it at this price. Uh, I take no responsibility. Because I'm fairly sure this was a Ross, a Ross deal. <laughs> You're right though, Laura. £24.99. Look at the size of it. I mean, if, look, you have, look, look. if you have that in the ring, that looks like hundreds or thousands of pounds, mm -hmm. doesn't it? And it would be, yeah, because of the quality. It's not pale or wishy-washy. You know, sometimes, um, if I hold it here, you can see the colours better. So uh, there we are. Um, but sometimes ametrine can be quite pale or quite, uh, quite insipid in its colour. Absolutely beautiful clarity that you're getting. And it is the four Cs, but... How intense both those saturations. We're not just looking for one, yeah. we're looking for two. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and it's clear that it's ametrine, isn't it? It's just not... Undeniable. It's not, you know, maybe it's ametrine. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely bad. £24.99 pence only for 10 and a quarter carats. Wow. I might have to get this stone. And uh, like I said, I've got ametrine in, in, in a ring. I don't have it in any other any other piece of jewellery, but can you imagine that in a beautiful pendant? Oh, yes. Something you could wear. Look, it's going to get oh. noticed, isn't it, on the oh, decolletage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Can you imagine that? In a, in a, I mean, that's cocktail worthy, isn't it? £24.99. pence. Good morning, Linda. Hello to you, Alison, Suzanne, Lynn. Uh, new customers, you're there as well. Make sure you check out your baskets because there's only a handful of those remaining. A natural bicolour gemstone formed um, within Bolivia, naturally. Uh, a mine that was previously uh, actually only mined by women. I don't know if that is still the case. Um, I'm assuming because it is quite a small location. Mm -hmm. A small location. Okay, let's do. These are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I actually have them at home. Um, all it takes is a little bit of your jewelry making glue. Yeah. About five minutes of your time. I'm going to start by showing you these. Two perfect pairs. Wow. 
Goodness of me. genuine cultured pearls. Those are so perfect, aren't they? Look how wow. flawless they are. Yeah. And they're not shell and, pearls. And they're definitely, you know, perfect pairs as well. It's yeah. Like color, the same size, everything. It's Look beautiful. how smooth that is. Monica, I can't find a single blemish. No. Absolutely perfect. You know what? If I put my hand behind, you notice, you'll notice imperfections, maybe cuticles on my fingers. You'll notice freckles. And even sometimes you can notice little bits of, little bits of hair. So any flaws, <laughs> any flaws within a pearl would stand out. Would we all agree? Yeah. Can you find any flaws on those two? And they are genuine cultured. All you need are the sterling silver little forget-me-not settings. I wanted to get these when they were on and I missed out. They're back in stock. Yes. There's your little settings and they come with your butterfly backs, obviously. If I hold them up, you can see the movement that you're going to get. So I won't be able to glue it in time, but you can imagine see where it is oh hang on you can imagine how beautiful these are going to be once that glue has set and you've left it 24 hours there's the pair of earrings that they're going to create but they have movement oh sorry they will have that beautiful sort of yes. droplet we had them made up on, uh, on a dealer day so you can always watch those back a little bit um, a little bit of jewelry making glue and away you go. You've got two fine cultured pearl pairs of earrings. Um, again, launched only a matter of weeks ago. Absolutely flew out the door. Perfect for the spring and summer months. We were talking about things like um, uh, brides, of course. What about mm. brides who are getting married on the beach, maybe, or a holiday oh, yes. destination? The wedding season absolutely is coming up. You have your almost hibiscus-like flowers. Um, we've got quantity of these purely because we bought a big quantity because they're so mesmerically beautiful and the quality of those, those, those pearls. Bear in mind this is an organic gemstone. To get such an amazing smooth nacre surface, blemish free, for £20. Oh, wow. That's £10 a pair. Because yeah. there's two pairs that you're getting. Let me move it over there. £10 oh. per pair. You'd pay more than that for yeah. silver. Yeah. You uh, you should be paying more than that per uh, per pearl. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, Willow said to me yesterday, it's just reminded me because we said about hibiscus flowers of Hawaii. She went, mm. "Mummy, when are we going to um, high?" <laughs> I was like, "Pardon?" She was like, "When are we going to high?" <laughs> and for ages, you were just looking blankly. I was going, "High." Where's Hi? She's going, you know, Adley goes there. This is a program she watches on. Uh -huh. Hi. And I'm trying to phrase it. And I was like, do you mean Hawaii? Yes. yes. <laughs> she said, like, when are we going to Hawaii? I was like, well, not for a very long time. <laughs> not for a very, very, very long time. Because that's a lot of money. Let's bring Hawaii to Willow yeah. in these beautiful, uh, beautiful earrings. Okay. Stay where you are on those phone lines uh, and let's bring you diamonds. Wow. I do have the nuggets. Now, when we talk about diamonds, uh, and in particular fancy colored diamonds, there's another, it's not just the four C's that we would say with your, with your colorless. So it's not just the carrot weight, the clarity, the color, uh, and the cut. It's also down to an openness of color. So for example, you can have a fancy colored diamond, which is, uh, hits all of the four C's, but it can be so closed in its color saturation um, that it almost becomes extinct. So it can't show you its brilliance. It can't show you scintillation. And yet, here we are with a strand of nuggets, not a single facet, not a single facet in sight that's giving you scintillation, dispersion, color, and brilliance. Six carats of genuine diamonds. Do you remember the day that we started bringing diamonds to our jewelry maker audience? Oh, I don't. <laughs> it was, all right, it was a while ago. But, and they were in nuggets. That was, uh, <laughs> that was the first opportunity. Well, they were in nuggets and they weren't, they weren't faceted. Right. Well, I don't watch every day. Just <laughs> I know, I, I, you do have a day job as well. You do have a day job. <laughs> 
They were triple figures in their price, and then some. Designs like this were what we were seeing on the Wall of Fame. Oh, yeah. Literally fed yeah. onto the chains that we just had a few moments ago, yeah. maybe, or some yeah. sterling silver. Um, wrapping your rough nuggets onto a sterling silver yes. band just there. Laura, I've got a funny feeling that, I mean, this has literally been spontaneously dropped into the show, so I I'm not fully prepared, but, and I might be putting myself in a bit of a situation, but can you tell me where you're taking this? I knew it. I knew it. What? I knew it. That's <laughs> why I was saying, when we first launched diamonds, and yeah. they were all black diamonds, it was all black diamonds. They didn't. You didn't have any of the fancy colours. Um, here, you've got those one of the rarest colours and blue diamonds. That if you think about the Hope diamond, it's that really beautiful teal blue, isn't it? Um, but again, not so closed in colour that it's completely extinct. You're still seeing lustre scintillation, and all the above. Twenty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Wow. Comparing with ourselves from years ago, that never happened. Yeah. It never, ever, ever happened. It's not just one carrot. It's six. Let me show you these. Which, by the way, don't even compete in terms of their beauty because, well, looks more like metal, doesn't it? The, 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 I'm looking at the earrings at the top on that mm. screen. If you look at those four prong earrings, it looks like just a lump of metal. Whereas these look at, like absolutely beautiful scintillating diamonds. Just wrapping a few onto some hoop earrings, Monica. And it's such a beautiful blue as well. It's, a, it's quite a unique blue, I think. Oh, the glandage right that we had earlier on. I'm still flabbergasted by that. Or oh, with Toby's amazing appetites that are coming up, all brand new mm. strands. This would be perfect alongside. Well done, everybody. Can see you all there. Make sure you check out your baskets. Oh, what about with the pearls? We oh, just yes. had. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. Beautiful, rich, deep brown diamonds. In your father, oh, they're, they're lovely, aren't they? There's a class to these. Always makes me think of gemstones like your Zarite. Just a sophistication and an elegance. Yes. In your, um, <laughs> however, not highlighting that sophistication and elegance is your faceted pipe. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the sparkle. I mean, nothing else is going to give you that kind no, of sparkle. No, precisely. Is it? And the fact that you can actually say. You can actually say, oh, diamonds, these are genuine diamonds. These are, even if they're fancy diamonds. They have that, for me, um, for me, you've got that rich, deep, dark chocolate color with the scintillation and presence of champagne color within as well. You get the best of both worlds. Faceted into these elongated, I don't want to call them a pipe, sorry, I refuse. Uh, I refuse. Um, for me, I don't know, colanders. No, no, not colanders. That's a terrible description too. They're all Collins. cylindrical tubes, faceted Tubular. tubes, tubular. Tubular, yeah. yeah, something that, that really demonstrates and describes the beauty of what we're actually seeing here. Um, in the photographs that we had a few moments ago, we had them just simply, simply uh, stranded onto a slider bracelet. Or if you, uh, the other picture was where you wire them onto a ring. You wire three of those into a ring. You've got a little trilogy ring. Lovely. Aww. And diamonds in a trilogy. Yeah. The sentiment of the of the classic trilogy. Sixty nine pounds and ninety nine wow. pence only. There is a graduation to these as well. Um, beautiful. For me, I don't know. They make me think. It conjures up images of of gemstones like your zarite because. Um, I guess the sophistication that you see within champagne and chocolate diamonds. Yeah. I mean, they do say diamonds are a girl's best friend, don't they? They definitely do. Yeah. They definitely, definitely do. Definitely up there with mine. Um, 23 pounds and 99 pence only. Well done. Good morning to each and every single one of you. I'll quickly bring to, uh, to your screens your canary, Ooh. which is stunning. Look at this for colour. Wow. I'm going to hold it. It comes in the gold box. Oh, look. Oh. I'd call these canary diamonds myself. 
Would we all agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, if you think about, you know, the, the famous Lady Gaga canary diamond, that priceless diamond that she wore on the red carpet, mm. you think about this colour, don't you? Actually, I think this would look amazing together with the brown diamonds, I think. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Look at, the, look at the precision of the faceting wow. as well. Um, beautiful precision of faceting. Again, that flash of luster as the light hits one of those uh, cubes, flat planes. Um, so this is the last of your diamond opportunities. One and a half carats in your beautiful golden canary diamond strands. Um, again, it's not just about slider bracelets because you can use these um, in channel setting and techniques like yeah. that. I'm sure you can use it in your um, silver clay as well. Yes, yeah. definitely. Your milliput. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All of those but wonderful mediums. What about dri uh, actually dremeling one of your Baroque pills and actually nestling one of those oh, in there? Oh, yes. You know, or even at the top. £69.99 only to get hold of your golden canary diamond. Stay where you are on those phone lines. We've still got so much more to bring you this Monday morning. More from Monica in her masterclass coming up at 12 o'clock today where we've got uh, all about memory wire, yes. which is going to be fabulous. Yes. But I'm so excited about the next hour because it's one of my favourite gemstones. I absolutely adore the beauty of your beautiful appetite. Um, and launching it today, brand new strands, is the fabulous Toby Cavill. <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Readers. You do. <laughs> <coughs> so this afternoon. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Jimmy Cavill, everybody. Are you okay? I have just put lippy on. I don't want to smear. Pink. Not now. Not now, because it could could be you know. It's, it'd be a strong look. Exactly. It'd be a strong Although look. you know, I, I I mean I used to wear lippy back in the old days, and why I not? look great in it. What? Why not? That was a joke, by the way. Huh? Say again. Why you don't not? doubt that for a second. What do you mean, Laura? <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, oh, I look great in it, I oh, see. Oh, right, I see. I see. There you go. Um, I tell you what, Toby, I am loving this showcase. This is one of my favourite gemstones. Me too. I love it. I didn't know it was one of your faves, though. Yeah, I love it. Really? Any gem that really has this... I think I said a word, I drop it into conversation all the time, and it oh. seems to be when you're with me as well, a presence. Yes, it does yeah. have presence, doesn't it? Like that mandarin garnet, oh. like zabarite presence and luminosity you're right i mean if you think about like in terms of color yeah it's like your mandarin garden you've got your oranges you know but with this it really is a unique blue to it i absolutely adore this gemstone and have done and i've been very lucky enough to work with literally the the highest echelons of this gems um starting with this young lady yeah. here so you might have, you've seen me use this on screen before you know I was very lucky uh, in the, that I was very, very closely involved with Kat Florence as she was, you know, initially getting her Altier together in Bangkok and building that process and working with her cutting teams and working with her design team and, and so on and so forth. And so that stone right there, I think at the time, was a, was a world record size. It was a world record size for that quality and that kind of colour. And you can see that went at, for 10,000 euros. But I've fallen totally in love with this. The, the hardest thing about this, the problem with this gemstone is, though, Elle, is the, just the lack of ability of it, yeah. availability of it, sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, this comes from the treasure trove of the, of the world, as we call it in the gem world. It's come from Madagascar. Um, but the problem with it is, is it's such a um, unique place and a unique location that there is only a small amount of material that's come out of the ground. And that material stopped being mined literally in 2019. Mm. 2018, 2019, all mining that's going on there is all alluvial, it's all small size. So going through the vaults, as soon as I found one strand, it was then, uh, I basically, last weekend, what were you guys doing? Were you looking for Easter eggs? Because I was looking for neon appetite <laughs> in our vault here at Jewelry Maker. <laughs> and basically today, we're bringing you everything to go alongside it. And uh, you've said about it, this is so difficult to get hold of. Yeah. What always, what's astonishing me when I look at this tea bar, Toby, sure. is... Each and every single one of those stones, never mind the accumulative carat weight across, uh, mm. across the strands, each and every single one of those stones are vast. Yeah. These are big sizes. They are beautiful the sizes. So now what's really key about this, El, we need to take an understanding of this, right? Is this material right now, if you were to go and try and buy it in the marketplace, you're completely and utterly right to raise that. The average carat weight you're going to see is probably going to be about... I don't know, 35 points, something like yeah. that, in terms of size, fasted, ready to go. The beauty about us, because we've been going for a long time as a group, mm -hmm. is that we have got, we, when we buy, we don't buy like, oh, we'll take three of those and that's it, you're right? When we buy, we are basically doing our, we, you know how we do a weekly shop? You know, we go to Tesco, we get our weekly shop or yes. our maybe bi-weekly shop. Yeah. Right, here at Gempora, we, we buy for the year. Right, and we buy for the year and that's it. Now, also, during that year, we don't necessarily use everything that we have, so that then goes into next year. And with our, with our appetite, we've held on to this material for such a long amount of time and literally just been picking at it. We've been able, it has allowed us to undercut the marketplace for a long time now. Also, why it's one of my favourite gemstones here to show you today. Totally. Because today we get to show you a f ultimate in affordability from the finest location that you will find Neon Blue Appetite. That Cat Florence piece I showed you earlier on was from the same locale that you are going to see here today. There's another one that she had as well with a deflawless diamond that she says it went away. 
Yeah, D flawless diamonds, 7.3 carats, neon appetite. With you do not set D flawless diamonds with a with a with a gemstone with lackluster, with lack beauty, or that isn't very nice. You can see the level of ap these appetites. You can see the beauty of them. But more importantly, today. We just get to give you Easter treats. We get to give you the best and most affordable, and most affordable neon appetite I think you are going to see on screen. I love and, that. And that's not the reason why I wanted to bring you this show here today. I've literally gathered everything that I could find, and we are bringing it all together today for you. If you want, for me, the most, the most unique blue in the gemstone industry, then you're going to get it here today. Because if you think about it, Elle, you know, we think about Pariba Tourmalines and Ratnikiri Zircons and those kind of colours. They're all in their, that similar kind of area. Yeah. And that might sound a little bit debaucherous saying that. But actually, if you think about this blue that you've got next to you here, it is unique to this individual gem. Totally. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Because... I think you can very easily distinguish a neon appetite above right. all other stones. You know, it's like, oh, wow. It is. It, it holds its own presence. And it lives up to that title. It does. Yeah. And you know what? The, for me, the, the people ask, always ask me, and when people see this, my mum's got a couple of neon blue appetite. Uh, she's got a couple of sets that she likes to wear around about. Where people are asking, you know, what are you wearing? And, okay, where, where can I find something like this? And this is where the fun comes into play, actually, is... How often do you really see a neon blue appetite when you're looking at in your local jewellers? True. You know? How often True. do you see it when you are scouring around the internet looking for new jewellery or whatever you're doing? And that shows you the scarcity of material. You know, it's the same with Sveen. You know, how we how you rarely see in Sveen. Actually, these come from the same locale, uh, you know, as a, a as a coincidence. But actually, how much Sveen do you see in local jewellers? Oh gosh. It's very rare, right? Other, other than here at uh, uh, Gemporia. If ever. There we go. Very, very rare. And the yeah. reason for that, ladies and gentlemen, is just because it's scarce. It's hard to get quality. It's mm -hmm. hard to get quantity of. Look, if I had my own way, do you know what I'd do? I'd go down to London and I'd open up a, 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 bond, uh, a, like a, a store on Bond Street or somewhere like that called Madagascan Gems, and I'd fill it full of neon blue appetite. Yes. I'd fill it full of Madagascan sphene yes. and a few other gems from, from Madagascar, and I'm sure it would go absolutely crazy because people would be walking into my store saying, I don't know this, I didn't even know this existed. I didn't know this gemstone yeah. existed. It's got more fire than a diamond, or it's got more, more, just as much beauty as a Pariba tourmaline, or as much rarity as, as, as a Sarite, or whatever you're going to do. This is what it has, and ladies and gents, basically what we're doing, I'm not opening it in London, I'm opening it here today with you guys on screen between much 11 and fun. midday. Yeah. Much more Pop-up Pop shop, if you will. I love it. Yeah. Better deals as oh, well. Oh, well, you haven't got the overheads then. I've got no overheads. Don't have to worry about lighting. Don't have to worry about staff costs. Don't have to worry about marketing. Do like don't have to worry thing? about her. you. Yeah, you yeah. today you are. Uh, they don't have to worry about uh, rates. Uh, you know anything like that. It's so great. you can go work. Literally bring these at the lowest possible margin. We are going. Yeah, I, I want to show you what we can do. Was it you, Toby, that said? Oh, it's the excuse me. Piece or the excuse me stone. What do you mean? Was it you that said that? What do you that? mean by that? Because uh, somebody said, I can't try desperately to remember to remember who it was. And I said, the what? What do you mean the excuse me stone? I said, if you're wearing neon appetite, people are going to say, Oh, oh that me. sounds about right. Yeah, well, and ask you about it, you yes. mean? Yeah. Yeah. Is so that, is that a Tobyism? That's a Tobyism, a total yeah. Tobyism. And actually, I'm one of those people that will go, excuse me. You know, yes. just like in the, uh, when we were on our way back from Tucson, I think, was it, was I in Tucson, on the way from Tucson or Dubai? I can't remember. Uh, when I was on the way back from Dubai, so I wasn't with you at the time. Um, when I was on the way back from Dubai, I did it recently again. The woman next to me in the passport queue, getting really frustrated about the passport, you know, the automated machines. Yeah, not that, working. Yeah, but she had this beautiful Zambian emerald on. And I went, excuse me, is that, was that a Zambian emerald you're wearing there? I've never seen a frown turn upside down so quickly in my <laughs> life, right? But that's the type of person I am. And it's that, it's the, it's the, people will see that and they, uh, because, yeah. Like with other gemstones, you'll see it and go, people who know a ruby and an emerald or whatever will go, oh, well, I'll just assume it's that. Whereas that, they go, well, I've never seen a sapphire that colour. I know emeralds aren't that colour. Rubies don't go blue. And that's certainly our diamonds. And therefore, they just bring this inquisition that people want to know what you're wearing. And totally. that's the beauty about it. Well, it's a limited collection um, because it's Neon Appetite. Yeah. So I'm starting, sorry, Laura, which one? Briolettes. We're going to start with the briolettes. Now, let's be clear on this, guys and girls. Like I said, I wasn't hunting for Easter eggs on my Easter weekend. I was looking for Neon Blue Appetite. Everything that I found is, is going to be in this show here today. Right? We are bringing everything to the show. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally... 
The colour we aspire to, isn't it? That's what you're looking for. Neon. That neon blue, that evenness of colour, that clarity, that beauty, that carrot weight. This is absolutely stunning. Look at the, just look at how well this comes together. This right here, L, is 13 carats, right, of graduated sizes from four by two millimeter to seven by four millimeters, mm -hmm. right? They are absolutely and utterly stunning. Now, when you're looking at 13 carats, ladies and gentlemen, what's really, really key is let's talk, let's talk about price for this. Because remember, we haven't discussed this. This is a gemstone that sells at some of the biggest auction houses, right? Sells, again, at Bottoms. That sells all over the place, sells again, Wolf and Badger. A simple neon blue appetite ring that's less than a carrot size, it's 791 pounds. I can show you more of these blues that we're talking about right now on yeah, screen comparatively. Lovely. Again, 740 pounds. I guess that's probably about a carrot and a half, two carrots. Today in the strand, we've got 13 carrots for you guys. Wow. Now, look, Elle, I can't get my hat on at just how affordably we can do these for you. But I'll tell you one thing. The proof and the reason why we can do what we can do here today is all in the way in which we bought this. Yeah, I was and, the, gonna, and the yeah. time scale we've been waiting. You know. Yeah, because we've we've effectively, you know, like Edar Oberstein did with their cut stones, we've effectively almost under lock and key. You know, left them there for a while. Most gem traders would elevate the price tag, but we hold the price, the saving from when we first purchased, right? Right, exactly, exactly. That's exciting. It's exciting, it's super, super exciting. And again, it allows us to show you just how that, how that patience and being that proactive can impact the marketplace. So in the same way that we do, you see here on a day-to-day -day basis where we talk about individual gems or we talk about individual gemstones being mined out, this gemstone has been depleted in the time that we have held on to this material. Look, guys, I'm not going to beat around the bush here today. Right, let me give you an opening price. This is not where we're going to be finishing here today. You're not going to get, you're not, I'm not even, I don't even need this. You, today, what we can do on price is just phenomenal. Right, so where I'd like to open up at this, and I'd like to actually open up a lot higher, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start low so you guys can start understanding just how low we're going to be going today. I want to open under £30 for wow. these. I want to open up at, like, say, £28, £27.99, something like that, Elle. That's a parcel of Neon Appetite. That's a full there. parcel. Yeah. Look at how many individual pieces you have got. Look at yeah. the coloration. Look at the beauty of them. Wow. That is pretty much ready to go already. Yeah. You know, you can just strand that L and you're good to go. Oh, do you know, some of our amazing viewers do something called, like, uh, we call them waterfall style earrings, where you just have different layers attached to sterling okay. silver chains, suspended from sterling silver chef and hook. Okay. That's gorgeous. Especially, it's literally like a waterfall of, uh, 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 of appetite blue. And, and what's, what is perfect? What's more perfect than that? Normally, to achieve a look like that, to achieve a carrot weight like that, you've got to pay the money for Premium it. For, yeah. Shall Absolutely. I show you another price point you're not going to be paying here today, ladies and gentlemen? OK, let's go under £20 now. Let's go to £19.99. Lynn, Virginia, Maker, Maker, Lorraine, you're there on the phone lines as well. People are joining. Just get ready for some Monday chaos today. I like that. I like Monday um, Chaos. Yeah, totally. I understand you don't see this very often on screen. No. I know we haven't got much left in the vault. So, guys and girls, we're just going to celebrate together here today. You know what? Let's show, let's put a clock on screen. Let's get a clock right on screen. Let me knock my cup of tea off the table then. Don't do that. Let's not do that. That's going to be too much chaos, I think. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the price point we can do here today is amazing. I'm going to take every pound and penny out of this. Now, guys and girls at home, let's remind you here, this is a premier strand. Yeah, that's true. It's never been on us. It's this is a premier strand. I told you I've brought everything. This has never been shown on screen before. This has never been shown on screen here before. No one on this planet. Look at that. I've always seen you as a bit of a hoop earring kind of lady. Yeah, now. I'm all about the, 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 the big hoops. Oh, and well, they're, 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 the proof's in the pudding. Look proof's at that. Proof's in the pudding. But look at that. A neon appetite of hoop like that. Imagine working to something like that. Or what, selling these with silver or selling these with gold. Or again, selling these on two little strands that allow you to do exactly what you're doing here. Yeah. Or a full necklace. Look, guys and girls, at 19 99 we should be done and dusted for 13 carats. Nobody pays £1.25 per carat of neon blue appetite. Let me tell you that for free. For free. If they do, ladies and gentlemen, that ring right there would be £7.91. Yeah. Okay? Equivocally, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this ring right here that shows you at Wolf and Badger, right, equivocally, if we are doing the price point we are doing here today, you'd be looking literally at £7.90 for that ring. It's £791. Have a look at the colour. 
Have a look at the beauty of the ring. Now, of course, you're right. You've got the gold. You've got the diamonds. But have a look at the colours there. Look at the depth that we are bringing you. Remember that we're giving you 13 carats. This is actually deeper. How's our clock looking? It's finished. Clock's finished. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. No, I didn't. I didn't. I did not hear with the that, sound. With, with that, no, I didn't hear it either. Did, to be thank fair. You. Okay, I good. Just, I didn't hear good. It. Well, um, you know, sometimes the producers there to let us know when the clock ends. Uh, now, what's <laughs> really, really key, ladies and gentlemen, is where we can go now. Laura, we are going to take this as physically low as we can go right now. I know it's a premier strand, but you know what? It's a celebration here today. It's a one show wonder. One show wonder. That's mm. right. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go apps. I was trying to think of a thing or a song. And I don't quickly off the top of my head, but I could. <laughs> uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, 1999 is amazing. Right? If I was to take this 1799, we are pushing limits. But what I've agreed today, and what we are gonna do is we're gonna take this under 15 pounds. You were gonna say that. 14 pounds, brimful of Asher. 14 pounds 99, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking it. Who sung that? Brimful of Asher. It was by a... Brimful of exactly. Asher. Who was it? Corner, corner shop. shop. There Bloody you go. Bad. Don't go to your corner shop here this morning, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got Neon Blue Appetite at under £15. Everyone needs a... Sorry. Was them for a pillow. <laughs> no, you're right. No, you're right. You'd be right there. I forgot the lyrics then. Who doesn't have a bosom for a pillow? <laughs> Absolutely. And then we can go back into the Nuggets <laughs> conversation. To be honest, we can do. And that, well, I love my Nuggets coming up at the end of the show, ladies and gents. But what's key, actually, you know what? You don't need to worry about a bosom for a pillow because you can now use 13 carats of neon blue appetite yeah. for your pillow if you really oh, like. Oh, all day long. That would be amazing. This is the only briolettes that we have. The only one. Um, the and show. they are graduated, so can you actually see you've got the smaller, delicate ones right the way down to these big, well, pendant sizes, really. Solid ears. Whatever you fancy, yeah, that's the mm. beauty of it. Simple studs, a big look necklace. What I think, what I'd do personally, if I had the talent that our jewellery makers have, is I would buy about three or four of these and I would create like a multi layer oh, yeah. uh, with all of the brillet points heading down, almost nice. like a spiky kind of, you know, a bit out there, a bit of a punky kind of necklace. Yeah, lovely. But obviously, because of the color of these, because they're so exotic, Exotic. It's perfect. These are perfect for summer. And, yeah. believe, and believe it or not, guys, the sun's coming out. The sun's out this morning. I can't believe it. Is it? The sun's actually out in England, yeah. So, so yeah, so actually, you, your jewellery makers can, you know, you can make your jewellery knowing very well that you might have a, a, at least a few hours to show it in the sunshine. <laughs> you know? Yeah, totally. You know? Make the most of that make, little window. Make, make hay while, it's, while the sun appetite. shines. <laughs> right? on. There we go. So, it'll be fourteen ninety nine. Cooler. Way better than uh, chocolate eggs, this. Egg, well, certainly way better than chocolate eggs, and that's why I spent my Easter Sunday here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, not the best to consume, I would say. No. I tried that. wasn't really good on the digestive system, but fabulous to wear. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it complements every skin tone as well, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Literally well, it does. every... Well, I, think, I think I'm slightly darker than you. Yeah, I mean, everybody's slightly darker well, than me. Well, I shouldn't be nice I'm, about I'm like it. a natural... I'm trying to be nice about I'm a it. natural blue. You are a natural <laughs> blue. You are. Um, Mrs. Freeze. Um, but what's really, really <laughs> key is you're right. I mean, it, they do go with all sorts of skin tones out there. But I just love the colour of these. They are such just a, they're a colour that just draws you in. And uh, I mean, look at the amount of people on the yeah. phone lines. You're loving it. You're well absolutely done, loving it. Happy Christmas. Um, let's do, I'm being told, faceted pears. Ooh, hang oh, on. yeah. No, hang on. The prickly pears. Oh, so, again, that piece that you showed from Wolf and Badger is probably like just one of these solitaires. Yeah, it's, it's probably... Hang on. You know what? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's probably around that kind of size. So, if we break that down, you know, you've got 17 carats on this individual strand for you guys here. Um, can, uh, over the amount of pieces you've got, they're probably around a carat in size each, uh, mm -hmm. plus, plus. That one's probably bigger than that, I'd say. But you can see what I'm talking about, guys. Um, so... My, as I say every week when I come to see you guys, I'm all, genuinely when I was when I was uh, waltzing around the vault last Easter Sunday. As weird as it sounds, I was thinking about you all. And the reason why I was thinking about you all is because I want to, again, bring something that allows you to make different jewellery. Yeah. Right? That fits with the season. That, you know, for example, I, 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 I follow you guys on Facebook and a lot of you right now are talking about going to your first trade fairs or going yeah. to sell here or going to do this or that. 
Now, when you're there, you want to have a USP, right? You want to be different. You want to be able to provide something unique. I would very, very, uh, I'd, be, I'd expect it to be very rare to find people with neon blue appetite of these kind of sizes, of this kind of consistency, mm -hmm. you know? And this is what, at the end of the day, people want. They want something different. They want something unique. They want jewelry that's going to get questions asked. And, and also, uh, jewelry, we had Moldavite earlier on, and we were talking, I love saying about how I love the story behind yeah. Moldavite. I think uh, Neon Appetite is another one of those stones. It's got a fantastic story behind it, too. It does, yeah. The it's... phosphorus, that, well, that translates right in Greek language to bringer of life. You got it. You look at this gemstone, it is alive. It is alive, exactly. It's absolutely amazing. And one of the first few, uh, one of the first mines they actually found, I say mine, one of the first deposits of Neon Blue Appetite they found, uh, if I remember correctly, was at the uh, Diego Suarez area of Madagascar, northern Madagascar. It was under a dam. It sat really? underneath a dam. It was initially found by a diver. And then so for the first like couple of months of di uh, mining they did was literally underwater. It was underwater mining. Wow. Uh, it's a beautiful gem. So for me, one of the most one of the most underrated gemstones on this planet. Now, guys and girls at home, I've now got 17 carats, right? I've gone up in carat weight, Laura. So actually, what, not only did she not tell me about the end of the clock, she started with the wrong piece. But what's key about this, Laura, is actually, you know what? I don't care if you started with the wrong piece or not, because at the end of the day, I'm still going to be doing the lowest price point I can do. And so, Laura, you know I was supposed to go to... Uh, you know, because now we've got a bigger carrot. You know, this is supposed to stop at nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, well, we're going to take this to fourteen ninety nine. We're going to match the price point of the last auction. Yeah, we're matching the price point, guys and girls at home. You've got size. You've got beauty. You have got. Have we got? Hang on. Have we got? Is that a, is that an in house person we've got buying here? Uh, or not? No, I don't think so. No, don't think so. Okay, just making sure. Just yeah, want to make just, sure. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, she, she has. I've never met her. No, no, Hillary. Yeah, Hillary, you so you've got in your your by your name jewelry maker. There are tons of people. There's 22 individual solitaires here. 22 sizes, but also just look at again that consistency of <laughs> sorry, excuse me, of colour. Sorry, it's that's be, all right. No, um, I, I've got a little cough at the moment. Um, but what's like I said, look, that consistency through every individual bead, mm -hmm. right? Even if you want to get another strand as well, put it, get another strand out, put it next to the one you're Ooh, wearing. Let's because go for what, some... that, uh, what I want today to be as well, and one of the coolest things about this is look, they go together. Whether you buy this strand, whether you buy the next strand, whether you buy the following strand, you can be consistent. I love that. That's the kind of look I'm thinking. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Stacked up on the decollet. Yeah. Cascade. You got it. Layer in and up and yeah definitely tessellate. love that you absolutely know? love that you know we do there's a technique that uh, and i know lots of our viewers will be thinking this i know for sure monica probably is as well one of our designers katie parker creates a it's called um is she, i think she called it sea foam is that right something like that and it's literally crocheted with the gemstones it's literally like crashing waves it looks absolutely it? beautiful so doing that with some precious sterling silver oh i'd like to see that it's Monica, cool. can you just whip one up for us quickly, just while you just whip up, whip Monica, up. Monica, you've got at least 34 minutes. You've got 34 minutes, Monica. If we could get that in the uh, next 10 to 15, that would be fabulous. <laughs> Do you know, she's not even justifying with an answer. No, um, amazing. Me, I, I was winding up last year. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Moving on very swiftly. Well done again, guys. So many of you have jumped on that. I can't mention all your names, but look, you can. You, at the end of the day, you know you're getting treated here today, right? Yeah, you know absolutely. you're getting treated. Not only are you getting premier sizes, not only are you getting premier pieces, but here's a problem. Here's a big problem. We've got less than 50 of these. Mm. We've got less than 50 of these. So uh, it's. I mean, it's not a. Pro I mean, it's not a problem for us, unfortunately. Um, the only problem it causes for us is now actually that is this is now going to be unre uh, irreplaceable. Sorry, at the price point we can do it here today. So you might see neon blue appetite again. Yeah. Um, but I'll bet my bottom bottom dollar that it's not going to be anywhere near these prices. I'm now, sure. That isn't, now, uh, that isn't going to be Wayne's fault. So when you see it and you say, Wayne, why am I seeing this now at $34.99 when Toby was selling it at $14.99 or $17 or £20.99? That's not Wayne's fault. Wayne doesn't have a time machine. The only way now to achieve the price point that you can achieve right now is literally to have a time machine. Yeah. And go back six, seven years, buy stock, and then sit on it for six or seven years. Which is exactly what's happening right That's now. That's exactly what's happened. That's what you're yeah. seeing right now. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you're seeing right now. That's, and, and, and yet, you know what, we don't have a time machine, but we are lucky in the way, we are lucky in the way that we can be patient. 
Yeah. Every other jeweler out there, and I, trust me, I you know I I help run Cat Florence's store on Grafton <coughs> on uh, Regent Street in London. Yeah. You know what you do is we buy stock in, we put it in the shop window, we sell it, and then we use that money to then buy again. Until we sell the products in the shop window, we can't then go and buy other things. No. Nope. That's not how the business works. That's nope. how you go under. That's how most jewelers work, and that means that they can't afford to have patience. They have to sell their items, and therefore it's it's a constant moving target. What we do is we say, right, oh, this looks lovely. Yeah, see you in five years. Uh, and then that's what we do. And then in five years' time, we bring it back to the marketplace. The market goes, okay, well, it's increased by 40% value in the last six years. And we say, well, don't, we don't need to worry about that. No. Nope. We're going to sell it at the price we got it six years ago. Exactly. And that's a massive win-win scenario for our viewers at home. This is the most limited of the strands. I'm not surprised. Um, and we've described them as hearts. They've, they, they, they're all more trillion-like shape, I would say. Yeah, I would certainly agree with that. They are... Or, um, a, or, 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 I, or a voluptuous I, pair. I use a chubby pair. Chubby pair, OK. Now, let me, let me be clear to everyone at home. OK, that's a technical term. <laughs> That's a technical term. Chubby pair. I learned that. No, I learned that word in Thai first before I learned it in English because obviously that's where I was learning about mm -hmm. pairs uh, and various different cuts out there. And in Thai, we call it a tat uop, right? That's what it's called. Tat being cut, um, chubby being uop, right? And uop. Yeah, uop. Yeah. Uop. 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 Okay, yeah. I've learned uh, that today. Yeah, remember that. I'll test you in two weeks' time on that one. Okay, and so this is. Te this, I'm so I'm utilising this as a technical term. I've heard this from a cutter uh -huh. in in Thailand. So I'm trans. I'm just doing. I'm just translating it. So I'm doing now. This is where it gets cool. This is where it gets cool. Because we're limited. Because you've got. Look at the sizes of these. I'll be frank with you guys. My guy price on these, and I'm going to show you this. My guy price on these. Yeah. Here you go. Come and have a mooch at these. Right, my guy price here, as you can see, is £24.99. Here I am, £24.99. There we go. Okay, that's where we should be going. That's where yeah. we should be going. Yeah. Right? That's amazing. Awesome. Lovely deal. Yeah. Laura, let's go to £14.99 again. Let's go to £14.99. Don't he's say I don't take care of you. Oh, he's a scally. Don't say, don't say I don't take care of you guys. Right? Fourteen ninety nine. No, I wasn't thinking about you during my Easter weekend. I'm doing you prices like this. Well, you can do that more often. Well, there you go. There's only 50 of these, though. That, and, that, and that's, there you go. There's the caveat. That's why I, that's why but, I but, but the reason you're on appetite, we should never have the expectations of massive quantities, you right? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. And the fact that we've got 50 is amazing. You're yeah, right. Exactly. But the problem is, Elle, is look at how many people are on the yeah. phone lines here today. Linda, uh, is that, are they... I've never Two seen different. Linda spelt that way. Oh, my mum's... Which, which way? With the Y. My mum spells it that way. Is she? Yeah, Linda there with the Y. Go. Linda with the Y. Linda and Devon. Really? Yeah. Well, had, that's not my mum, but... I had... Um... <laughs> I don't know if you saw last week, I had two customers. I had a Tina and a Linda. And instead of saying Tina and Linda, I just went straight out and said Tinder, a live on screen, <laughs> uh, which caused a few little problems. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we don't I've have a Tina and Linda here this don't evening. Don't worry, I've said far worse. Have you? Oh, yeah. me too. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Bloopers. It's, we, it's, should, we should put them together in a... We should do. Uh, in like, it'd have to be 18 plus, I would say. I would... Well, yeah, most things do have to be 18 plus, to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, back. Do, uh, are you guys live on Christmas Day here? Yes, are absolutely. You? Only... In fact, Christmas Day is, uh, I know Christmas Day is a very busy day for you, Big actually, day. Isn't it? Really big day, really? Yeah, Jewelry Maker. One of the biggest in the year. This might, no, no. Uh, this, this might be a silly question, right? Is there a single day of the year that Jewelry Maker doesn't air? No. It's yours, 365. Yes. Well, there you go. Love it. No, well, you know what? The reason I'm asking that question is if you want to have a blooper reel, I was going to choose, you know, I mean, if you have one day of off air, you could do a blooper reel. Yeah, no. But, no. No, we should put one and on plus YouTube. I'd probably get fired. You, oh, yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> you haven't already, to be honest with you. But that's the luck of the draw, isn't it? Monica is true, isn't it? Monica agrees. Look at her. There she is. She knows. She knows how she doesn't I'm not even arguing that. All, I know, yeah. I know. You, didn't, you just looked away embarrassingly. Um, you know no. what, Elle? We've all had our moments. <laughs> Haven't we? But did I call a kit? Huh? Um, love nuggets. You, well, you're not making it any better for yourself. <laughs> right I, love, I like the word love nugget. I think that's nice. Mm. Um, you know. Next next one. That would certainly attract some people to your table if you Could were selling. Raise some eyebrows. It would. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the pears. Smooth. Yeah, pears now. Smooth pears. Sorry. Uh, there we go. I've, I've had terrible trouble with my talk back What's today. What's happened? I don't know. They're just uh, the guys are just ever so quiet in there. But I can hear you and shout. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to turn the volume up on. Uh, I did. I could do yeah, that. Yeah. I, I mean, I, it is understandable to turn them down. You know. <laughs> now, 
So I love smooth pears. Smooth pears, not a single, <laughs> no, <laughs> not overcomplicated. What there? I don't know. Oh. Just made me laugh. Oh, okay. Um, no, no fuss. It's not overcomplicated. No. Just beautiful amounts of colour. Yeah, exactly. Just smooth and rounded. Nice yeah. to the touch but more importantly, very comfortable to wear. Yeah. So again, if you were thinking about wearing that rock star necklace that we were talking about earlier on, where yes. you, you've got it all going on, this is again going to be able to be worn with comfort. But once again, look at the beauty of these. Look at the, look at the consistency all the way through. All the way through yeah, that piece. Yeah, literally, they're perfectly colour matched. The, exactly, but also, if you want to zoom in a little bit, feel free to zoom in if you like. Get in close in one of those pieces, right? Just have a look. I don't know if we can go any closer. Um, but just, yeah, come in and have a look because the clarity of our pieces is excellent as well. Look at the glow. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of that, um, that oval that you said earlier on in the gold. Um, again, like for like quality. They are absolutely stunning. They are have absolutely you, have stunning. Have you got so? Have you got? Yes, yes, do Laura. <coughs> um, yeah, you've got again. That was uh, looked to be non-faceted. That piece, you know, which was frayed. Oh, Toby, you are my love nugget. You make me smile. Don't get me honest. It's not the first time I've had someone say that to me. <laughs> but thank you ever so much, Linda. You've just made my Monday. My tuna and mayo sandwich at lunchtime is going to be eight with a big smile on my face. Oh, well there you go. Nugget. There we there go. You go. And I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little nugget of love now, Linda, with the price. <laughs> How does that sound? Laura, sorry, what? No, Laura, I'm going lower than that. I don't want to stop at 14 99 on this. Let's go to £12.99. I've got lovely customers sending messages in like this. I know. Let's go to £12.99. Do it. There do you it, go. do it, do it. Have we got any amount of quantity of these? Oh. We've got a bit of quantity. That's exciting. And that's a quite, I never hear like a triple figure quantity in my ear when we're Love nuggets about. for all today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You've come for the on appetite. You're left with enough love nuggets. Look at this. <laughs> and they're graduated too. They work their way oh, all the way I down. It. I love it. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, beautiful. I mean, it's, it is one of those. And I know you were saying spring and summer, but I would wear neon appetite and, and do. All year round, because it's that injection of summer and sunshine when we don't see it. I 100% agree. You know, I, I totally and utterly get that. You need something to make yourself smile every day. Yeah. And in the winter, it's it's colour that helps with that, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a theory. You know, when I moved to, um, you know, I'm quite, quite similar to you, I think, Elle. You take that as a compliment or as a negative, whatever you like. But um, when, I'm, when I was no, in Thailand, helping. obviously, because it's very sunny and it's all very nice and bright most of the year, until the rainy season turns in, everyone's so happy over there yeah. and it changes everything whereas in Britain I think like in England we have a bit of a mood swing as the year goes on you know totally. so summer summer comes out everyone's happy as Larry happy as Larry yeah bring totally. October cup bring October November everyone just slumps yeah. and, that, and you know that's, and that's scientifically down to a few things we're not getting as much daylight we're not getting as much sunlight well, isn't it diagnosed like sad disease uh, not disease, sorry, yeah. disorder. It's a disorder, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah, it is. Uh, seasonal something disorder. Yeah, so yeah. what I was going to say is, you know how people have, like, for example, you know, people have, like, therapy dogs to help and things like that? Yeah. I think gemstones can be just as therapeutic and putting something on in the oh, morning that makes you smile absolutely. and makes you feel different, makes you feel good about yourself, is just as important as doing anything else. Absolutely. Especially at £12.99. Well, that's what pounds. I mean, do you know what I mean? A, a, a flight to Thailand's a little bit more than twelve ninety nine. Mm. So as opposed to that, isn't it just? Do you know what I mean? Sorry, Laura. What was that? The final strand. Yeah, the smooth hearts now. Oh, beautiful! And, and then, then go on. We're gonna do a um, a crazy, crazy. Like, oh, these are lovely. Out of this world star buy. Okay. Now, problem again, L. We've got fifty one of these, but benefits is these are the biggest love nuggets of the show. <laughs> 51 of these available. Look at the size. 51 love nuggets. Yeah, 51 chances available here today. 20 carrots. Guys and girls at home. Uh, Laura, let's carry on with the madness. Look at the phone lines. Let's go to £12.99 again. Straight down. I'm not beating around the bush here today. Straight down, Laura. No, we're not going to £14.99. £12.99 is where we're going. There she goes. And can we, can we just point out as well to somebody that maybe is new to this gemstone, do not expect Neon Appetite to be 12 99 No, do not expect Neon just Appetite in case you've to just be £12.99. No, this is what we can do. This is what we can do. So remember, like, back in the good old days when, like, I've used this analogy before, I'm sure, like, when Freddo's were 5p. 
Oh, yeah, remember I remember that. that? Yeah. And you'd walk in with 50p and be like, 10 And a wham bar was 10p. Wham bar, 10p, lovely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Discos, 15p. Yes. Good old days, right? Yes. Remember Space that? Invaders. Now imagine, do you know how much a Fredo is now? How much? 25p for a Fredo. Scandalous. Frodo. Right, scandalous. I've never paid so much for a frog in my life, right? <laughs> five times. So this is what we have done, right? So five years ago, I'd have gone and bought all the Fredos at 5p. Yeah. Right, and I brought them to screen here today and gone, guys, you know what we're going to do today? Right, I'm going to sell all my Freddos at 6p, let's say, which is what I'm doing. I'm undercutting the marketplace by 19p. <laughs> by 19p. Now, the, what, that crazy analogy I've just used with a frog printed on chocolate is the same analogy I'm applying to this right here. It's you true. are paying the price point from five or six years ago. And over that time, this gemstone has become even more scarce. The price point has increased even more. OK, Elle, I'm going to put you on the spot now. How much Neon Blue Appetite did we see at Tucson? Um, Reminisce. How much did you see? Really? Come on, think, let's think about it. None. Zero, right? None. Was there a single booth that we stopped at? Loads of Paraba. Oh, no, yeah, lots of Paraba. None. None. It was like Jet, wasn't it? It was like Jet. God, no. Jet, Jet. And that's what I'm saying. Some nightmares. And I would, exactly. And I would, I would have literally tried to get my hands on as much as I could, if I, if I could do. Because I want to set neon blue appetite into my 18 karat gold jewellery that I do over at Jet uh, yes. I'd love to. But we didn't see a bead. No. Think, let's think about it now. No, not even you a know? strand. Let's... And we did scour. You know, this vast city full of gemstones. Exactly. Like, not one. Not one. Not one. Think about it. Even the booths where we saw people that were selling, you know, multitudes of gemstones. Yeah. Even the guy when we walked to, to remember we were looking for the, uh, the Russian dioxide? Yes. We managed to find a bit in the end. Remember we found that little parcel on that guy's desk? Yeah, tiny right? piece. A tiny, yeah, exactly. That was it. We didn't, we found zero of this. And that's I think true. that's reminiscent of, we didn't even, we didn't, it, I tell you how much little of this there were. We didn't even record a video. We didn't even we didn't even search for it. No. We, you know what I mean? It's not like we did a VT on it for an upcoming show. We did. We did, there, there was, was no point. <laughs> we couldn't. That's really true. Right? Loads of Prava there. It, oh yeah. So Prava. There you go. Didn't see this. There you go, guys. And again, the clarity. Oh, that's beautiful. Dreamy. Uh, right. Can I can I uh, put my foot down and can we get a star by rocking and rolling? Yeah, Would let's that be do okay? it. Let's um, do it. You said the deal of all deals. Okay, no, this is going to be a deal of all deal. This we'll call this the deal of we'll call this the deal of love uh, on, the, on the theme of today that we're yeah. using. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll um, the love. Let's let's get our deal of love uh, rocking and rolling. Wow. Can I? You can do have you ever you, seen? You have you ever seen a Marla necklace? A Marla necklace. Something I, I and I've spoken to uh, the gems team. Are they, they the graduated in size? The tassel at the bottom. Yeah, I say I'm learning. So on trend. Yeah, right. So on trend. The likes of Elle McPherson, all of those big celebrities are all wear, they're all wearing at the moment. This, if you're a jewelry maker, is crying out to be that Marla necklace. Right. Is it all three, Toby? You get all three, all three together, and they graduate down in size. <gasps> uh, I, this is this is a great deal. This is an absolute. This is one of my favourite deals I think I've done here for Jewelry Maker. I'm a huge fan of Appetite. And if you actually remember, one of the first gifts I, when I first joined um, Jewelry Maker. I gave away a gift of appetite. I had this little sphere of appetite that I gave away. It must have been with maybe Zena or something like that. Yeah, you know, I didn't see you very often back in the old no, days. No, back like, in the days. Yeah, she didn't really yeah. talk to me that much. Uh, now, uh, what's good? Yeah, no, uh, we were just on the opposite shift side, yeah. weren't we? Uh, but one of the first gifts I gave away on Appetite, you guys will remember this, I'm sure, was uh, on, on Jewelry Maker, was a big Appetite sphere uh, to a lucky customer out there. Oh, wow. And since then, I've not been able to show any spheres or anything like that. This is what you're going to get here. Now, look at the graduations on these. Look at how many individual strands you are getting together here. You are getting... These, look, these literally look like planets, yes, don't right. they? 10 millimetre oh. down to 6 millimetre with an 8 love millimetre it. in the middle. Absolutely love these. They're stunning, aren't they? Now, guys and girls at home, how many... Uh, can you just ref re refresh my memory on the quantity we've got, Laura? OK. Now... I found these in the vault, and we have got triple figures of these. We've got about basically 100 of these to give you here today. I am going to sell out all 100 of these here today, and I'm going to give you all some, uh, just a gift. I'm going to give you a gift here today. That's the only way I can do, do you, that's the only word I can use to describe this. Love it. 
the, 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 the ability to repeat what we are about to do right now at the price point we are going to do is going to be very, very hard. Now look, you have got a total carrot weight in here that is absolutely huge. 650 carrots of neon blue appetite. Well, I mean, I read this and I've shared it before. The average carrot weight of neon appetite is 0 0.15. Yeah. 650 carrots. Yeah. This is where the, my Fredo analogy comes into play again. We're not only because of that are we saving you on money, but we can give you sizes. Yeah. We can give you a trilogy, a trilogy here today of strands. 10 millimetres down to 6 millimetres. 10 millimetres, 8 millimetres and 6 millimetres. Perfectly graduated, yeah, love perfectly it. spaced out. Let's open up our price, shall we? So look, 3, 650 carats, 816. Um, I think, you know what? Let's open up a, no, let's open up at 79.99. Right? That's awesome because they're 80 huge. Pounds. 80 pounds. Let's open up there. Most jewellers wouldn't buy parcels of 650 carats. Right. That's what our viewers are doing right now. They're, you're buying a huge parcel. Oh, don't, you get to, yeah, we're we get today to give you a full parcel. We get today to give you enough neon blue appetite Enough neon blue appetite to last you a lifetime, unless you're making one of the Marla necklaces that Elle was talking about, which I, I think would be a fabulous choice. Mm. But, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, you're not going to get your hat on at this deal. You're not going to get your hat on. It's absolutely and utterly amazing. Now, we're already at £26 a strand. That's where I've started here today. Now, this is where life gets better. Laura, now let's get, take that 79 99 to 49 99 We are not going to be done there. I told you this was going to be a mega deal. I've still got at least another two price points coming in between now and the end of this auction. So wait, we're talking about what? About 70p a carat? Uh, you're looking at about well, 50 pounds, 49.99 for 650. Uh, yeah. About 70p? Yeah. That's mental. It's ludicrous. Mental. Only, once again, already at this price point, possible based on our history of working with this gemstone, on our history of working with this individual location. You've seen us bring years and year, year after year, sorry, beautiful Madagascan gemstones, whether they are sweet, whether they are appetite, whether they are whatever it may be, you've seen us. Our connections to this individual island, Treasure Island, is one of the finest out there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at 49.99, a lot of you are already jumping on this. Don't worry, yeah. it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. Now, if you tuned in, that's right, you get the full 650 carats. You get them all. We're giving you three strands here today. And look at the size of them as well. These aren't small, eeny, weeny, teeny, weeny strands here. These are sizable. They are beautiful. And you're going to see here, Elle's lying these out on the table. Well, right, just imagine so you can that. See, you see how much you've got to work with. Imagine that. There's the graduation. Obviously, then you work out, and then this would be at the top. So you, you'd have to split that in half, obviously. But you get the idea. You get the There's idea. There's that graduation. They're beautiful, aren't they? Right, Laura, <laughs> take me another £10 off the price. Let's then go to 39 99 Then we're going to get ready for some serious chaos. We're going to get ready for some serious chaos. Oh. Uh, I love Leon Appetite alongside something like uh, something like pearls. You know, bring. I, I'm inspired when I look at this. I can really see the sea, the ocean itself, the the tropical shores, the Seychelles, and Mauritius, and those kind of gorgeous oh, places. Yeah, I can see some papaya pearls or something like that in there. These, the beauty about them, like you said, Elle, they don't just go with every skin tone, but they go with all sorts of colours. They yeah. will blend in with your darker stones, like those chocolate diamonds you had earlier. Yeah. They'll or go with them. Mandarin garnet. Exactly, they'll go with your mandarin garnets. They'll go with your amethyst. They'll go. They'll offset themselves with most colours out there. You know, um, I'd probably say the least colour that's going to go with it would maybe be like an emerald green or something like that. But every yeah. other colour will go alongside it. Now, guys and girls, this is where things get crazy. Let's get a one-minute clock on screen. Wait, we're at, wait, wait, wait. When do we drop to 39.99? Well, where have you been? I don't know. I'm engrossed, in, been, yeah. I'm engrossed in, the, in the appetite. And you know what? That's the perfect, that's exactly the right thing to say when you're dealing with me, right? Because if, as long as you're engrossed with that, that's all that matters. That's what they do. They're alluring, aren't I they? I am just beautiful. zoned out, I promise. Now, Not completely zoned out. Laura, how many of these, these have we got? Oh, are you going to do something naughty? Yeah. I want to go to every pound and penny on this, Law. It's going to be the lowest price point we have ever done. The lowest price point you have ever seen on screen. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, do yeah. it. 
Yeah. Yeah, we're just making the decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, as if I've not seen these. No. We, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll share the load, as yeah. in. Yeah. We've got broad shoulders. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, Laura. We're going to pound and penny, Laura. Laura. I'll be honest with you guys right now, right? I should be taking another five pounds off at thirty-four ninety-nine. We're done and dusted. But what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to take ten pounds off. I'm going to take twelve pounds off the price point. Every yes, Toby. Twenty-seven pounds ninety-nine. Yes, Toby. The lowest price point you've ever seen these on screen for. Less Laura than ten pound a strand. And Laura is literally whispering. Can you hear her seething? Yeah. Can you hear the the deep breaths? Yeah. Mischief we are together, you know. It's great though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. There's Mischief. your love nuggets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's as low as you can. We, you, guys That's and the girls, lowest price point. You will not see, you will not see, I promise you now, if you do, I'll eat my own hat live on screen, right? £27.99 is not a price point you see for three strands like this. No, not of those carrot weights. £9.33 yes. only each. Yes, Toby. We've got quantity of them. Snap them up. They've never been at better. I mean, obviously. You will not see them at a better no. price point. You... Can we do something just ridiculous here? Because I'm. What do you mean? I'm we're, used... we're already there. No, no, no. I know, I know. But something just to add to the, the silliness. Sure. What would you like to do? 650 carrots divided by 27 pounds and 99 pence. Yeah, that's going to be if a big one. If you can do one, that in it? your head, I'd be really impressed. Okay, give me a sec. 650 divided by 27.99. So I that's going to be. That. Uh... Yeah, oh God. I, you know, I tried to do some calculators yesterday. I sucked. Um, it's going to be. <laughs> I can't uh, try uh, 20, uh, 200. 27.99 divided by 650. 230 something. Miles out. 23. Oh, 230. 23. Sorry, I was a whole 23 point. pence. I put the point in the wrong place. Yeah, 23. 23 pence a carrot. 23 pence a carrot. Have you ever bought Neon Appetite for 23 No, you've got no blimmin' chance. <laughs> 23 pence. A, I can't get a carrot for 23 pence. It's true, actually. You know? Far off the price. Right, you know what I mean? I don't know how much the price of a single carrot is, but I'm Probably not sure. Probably about a 10p. Is it? Yeah. I don't buy them singularly. I do. do then. You? I mean... <laughs> That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. But ladies and gents, considering we've been talking about love nuggets today, we can move on to carrots quite <laughs> happily, I think. Um, 23 uh, pence a carrot. You're not going to see lower price points than that. Monica chuckling over there. Of course she is. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her over there. Have a great, great time. Monica knows the price of a single carrot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I was really impressed by that. I know, I know I, was two, I said 230. 23, I wasn't far away, was I? Feet, I wouldn't have even it was, it. I was right enough to a form. Yeah. I just times it by 100. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, lowest ever price. You need to check these we'll out. We'll stay with you guys. Yeah, guys, I, can I just insist something? Make sure you check out. Laura's a little bit peeved after I've just taken that about seven pounds lower than we should have taken it. And Did now, you see the tap of the finger then? Yeah, she's got this, Laura's got this like sigh that she does where you just know. Do you know what I mean? You just know that. I hear it sometimes. Yeah. In fact, can I request like a separate exit to this office? Because I unfortunately <laughs> have to walk right past her on the way out. Yeah, side door would be lovely. Um, but look, look, can I insist that, I, that you guys stay? If you just make sure you check out. <coughs> because what happens is a lot of people come in, they get involved, they don't check out. To honour this price point, guys, yeah. I've, I've taken this far and beyond where I should be going. Yeah, it would if be If you naughty. could do me the pleasure as well of making sure you check out, it just makes my life a little bit easier when I see your managing director, Scott, when I come off live. Yeah, but uh, do you know what? Do you know, I, I, th I think he'll whole, wholeheartedly... I'll talk properly in a second. Wholeheartedly support What's happened, this Laura? deal. She's getting argy-bargy in there. Shirley, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, love it, love it, love it. Always wear Neon Appetite Gorgeous. Thanks, Toby and Elle. There That's you Shirley go. Warwickshire. Thank you, Your Shirley. Your neck of the woods. She is in my neck of the woods. I could drop some off on the way home, you fancy Shirley. There you go. If it, 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 it could be in Shirley. It could be. I don't think that's Warwickshire, is no, it? No, it's not, no, it's no, West Midlands. No. Uh, but, you know, it's worth a joke. Uh, not a lot of people <laughs> out there know that. Uh, no, um, where, where to next, Captain? Um, oh, uh... Oh, 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 parcel time. Oh, my. It's parcel time. Have you seen these, though? Have I seen these? I was walking around the vault with them think? last Sunday. These Gosh. are my eggs. <laughs> these are my eggs. These are my Sunday eggs. Do you know what, Toby? I don't know where to go from that conversation other than these are 
absolutely beautiful. Aren't they stunning? Beautiful eggs. Beautiful eggs. A lovely yeah. egg. Yeah. Look at the Look at blue. that. Yeah, they are. Calibrated as well. Perfectly, yeah, perfectly it, cal. Uh, uh, I does mean, this look remind at that. you of anything? Yeah. 240 pounds there. Totally does. Come and have a look at what we've got. Yeah, we've got uh, 12 of these for you guys. 12 Ooh. of these. Look at this for a mix into shot. There you go. Look at the comparison that you have got there. Now, guys and girls, I've only unfortunately, I've only got seven of this, uh, seven minutes, six minutes now. That's all I've got with you guys. Things like bezel strip, gallery wire, uh, uh, tension settings. We've 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 bringing you lot, brought you lots of demonstrations in the past. Really, this is about yeah yeah. Claire McDonald could show that. She could do, she could do. Now, what's lady, what's amazing, ladies and gentlemen, is what we can do in terms of price here today. It's unbelievable what we can do in terms of price. Because remember, that, exactly, that shot right there, we see with the dual screen, right? Side by side, right? Comparatively, that's been sold at £740. A parcel like this, I would expect you at Tucson, right here, right now, to be paying about £13 a stone, something like that. Thirteen pounds a stone. That would be really good. Which is amazing for, yeah. for, for for these kind of looks, for these kind of consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, about that. So you're twelve there, at your thirteen pounds. You know, you you'd probably look at one hundred and fifty pounds for that kind of individual slot right there. Yeah, well, if you think trade, about remember, it, yeah, trade. And that means you're not buying one pair. In fact, you're buying, say, let's say, a minimal quantity of a hundred, something like that. And and if you just look at that 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 piece that you're showing us right now, seven hundred and forty yeah. pounds. It's I could probably, with a little bit of guide uh, guidance, I could probably make that design as well. Bit of silversmithing. Yeah, I mean, look, lady, ladies and gentlemen. The profit that you could make from that Exactly. Parcel. Oh, trust me, I'm, I'm going to open up that profit as wide as possible because I, I'm very aware I've only got five minutes left. I'm, I'm very aware I've already peeved. I've already poked the bear in the producing uh, gallery <laughs> today. So we'll just carry on with it. Um, look, ladies and gents, there's 12 pieces here. How many chances have we got available? Oh! That means I can go even lower. That's fabulous. Okay, should we go straight down then, Laura? Uh, how low can we push this? Uh, you know what? No, Laura, let's go under forty pounds. You know what, Laura? Let's go under twenty-five pounds. Let's take these to twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine p, shall we? For twelve of them. For twelve. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine. That wouldn't even buy you two at two songs. Well, sound like Yoda then for a second. <laughs> Twelve, I knew. <laughs> this is not the time, Laura. <laughs> Twelve stones, twenty-three pounds ninety-nine. Uh, I was going to do a Yoda impression then, but I'm try it. Give I'm it a go. So bad at impressions, though. Come on, I'm, me too. I'm terrible. I'm so bad. Come on, let's do it. Give me something to say. Um, jewelry maker. <laughs> jewelry maker, you do. <laughs> That was fabulous. That was just the end of the Do you know what I do, I, I do a better impression what? of? A sloth. Come on, then. I do sound like Scooby-Doo. You sound like Scooby? No, Show I sounded me. like it. That's Scooby-Doo then. My sloth impression. Right, ready? Go. Okay, okay. You've seen this, haven't you, Monica? No? Okay. She's like... <laughs> just do it slightly slower this time. Okay. Here we go, yeah. Just do it okay. slightly slower. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It works. It works. It works. <laughs> you just need to grow your fingernails really long now and they're hang from one of the things up here. Uh, now, OK, so uh, well done to all of you that have done that. Sorry uh, about the sloth. This is the part of the show where you get to interact. Pick an appetite, any appetite. Oh, oh, oh. Pick an appetite, right. any appetite. The strand. Egg, bag, bag, egg. Whatever you want, whatever you want, Elle. Literally, I've got, I've got. You know what? It's minutes. Nugget Day. It's Nugget Day. You got for nuggets? Got to go it's nuggets. Time for love nuggets. OK, right, they're back. These Look are the, the colour from these me. Are, this has got to be Brand the longest new. nuggets we've got. We've got this is with the longest nuggets in our building right now. Gotta be. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me have a look at the price here. Let's see how low we can go. No, Laura, we're not going for £19.99. We're going to go to £9.99. We're going to take these under £10. Finale. Love finale. nuggets under £10. Give me on appetite, love nuggets. 
9.99. Yes, ten pounds straight down. No arguing. No beating around the bush. It's the final auction we've got here today. Monica's are right, right around the corner. Uh, I can see she's been working away tirelessly during the break. Bless her heart. Um, she's literally her chuckling away. Isn't she, she has been having a great time over chuckling there. Chuckling away in the background. She's definitely comfortable with her own, with herself, isn't she? Absolutely, absolutely. Monica, you said earlier on, just literally a couple of pearls dotted in between. Yeah. How's that necklace oh. coming along? By the way, Monica, are you nearly done? No, not yet. She's not quite there yet, ladies and gentlemen. It's fine, it's fine, it's no problem. Look uh, at who that. cares when you've got nuggets like this on screen for exactly. a tenner? And they're all beautifully they're colour all matched. matched all the way around. Do me a favour, show me um, show me the uh, you know the graduated one we had earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. put them next to it. Let's have a look at the variable here. Let's have I a tell look. you what, I put the largest... Do a bit of design work. Come on, do a bit of jewellery making yeah. for me live on screen. Okay, let's. Let's this do this. This is lovely. Don't let's worry, do Laura, this. No, no, go. no. No. Here we go. No. And then do you know what I do, Toby? Go on, show me, show me. I'm not, I mean, I'm no Monica. You, you, well, I can see that because <laughs> she's over there. Oh, a twist. This, and this is, I, 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 this is like the jewellery I see you wearing. Yeah. I see you wearing like big, brash, bold jewellery. Yeah. Look at that. Just literally multi So hold on, let's do the maths, let's do the maths quickly. So what, what's, I did, uh, no, uh, yeah, £27.99 I went to, didn't I, for the triple, through the triple strand. Yes. Plus £9.99 for that. It's going to cost you less crazy. than £40 for that look. £37.98 so to be precise. So literally just, uh, and it's what, Monica, just beading? Yeah, just threading and beading thread. Beading thread. You can even create almost like a, 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 a sort of an endless 360 degree long line necklace. Literally just layer it you and layer do. it and layer it. You could do. You could do whatever you like. You can make it one massive necklace if you like. Exactly. And then is that what you just said? Yeah. Add, it all, add them all together and then yeah. Just, just literally loop throw it over. it over. Yeah. So it's multi way Oh, John look Wayne, at that. Wouldn't you? Look at that. It's, a, it's stunning, isn't it? All of that for under forty pounds. That's amazing. That's a bundle and a half, isn't it? These are brand new on the. Uh, oh yeah, they're flying out the door. I'm not surprised. We, we've got a, we've got something called um, memory wire here. Toby. What's that then? What does it never forget? Um, basically, yeah. Basically, so you can, it, it forms the perfect bangle-like shape. What do you mean? Hold on. What start again? What do you mean? Have you got it's... some over there to show memory wire? And you can get it in necklaces. You can get it in rings, and you can do it in bangles as well. So look. Sli it's like a slink. It's like a slinky, yeah. Um, so hold on. So the idea is, imagine that they're more. What would you use on... it for? So so thread those all on there. Yeah, and then you you, you in move fact, it in look, the way. You... Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. This is no, why I need to watch more of Monica's masterclasses. Check out. Check out. Here we are. Oh, here we go. Look at. Look at. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So now imagine and that. And it's got memory wire because it just goes back to its. Yeah. One and size fits all. And it's malleable as well. It's movable. Yeah. One size fits all. I like all. that. Yeah. If you, uh, oh, stay sorry, with I this. Oh, sorry. I realised on camera. Yeah. Look at this. Perfect, look at, didn't it? They're beautiful, aren't they? And it reminds me of my childhood, like a slinky. Like a slinky. Have you tried these down the stairs, Monica? <laughs> no, okay, I wouldn't have it. Not with these precious jewels. No, probably not, probably not. Oh, sorry, Laura, yeah. Um, we're over-allocated on those. Though, she? Over-allocated. Uh, 210 carats. Uh, I think she's desperado at the moment. So she so. Sounds like she needs a desperado to me. <laughs> um, Toby. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you it's so much. lovely seeing you again. You are literally a ray of sunshine. Well, uh, it's lovely to be... Uh, Our very own lovely. love nugget. I, well, thank you. <laughs> Linda, you know, I'm not going to forget that message either. I'm taking that with me to the grave. Uh, thank you ever so much as well. Do you know when you're coming back? Uh, you'll see me uh, potentially this Friday. Ooh. Depends on how my ex excavation of the vault goes in the next two hours. Well, we keep everything crossed for that. Yep. Thank you, lovely. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for having Don't me. Don't go anywhere because Monica's back with Memory Wire. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Amazing. Oh, wasn't that fun? Oh, it was. Of course, it's easy to pick on somebody who doesn't have a mic on. <laughs> he wasn't picking on you. He wasn't. I'm not giving He's... him a mic next time. <laughs> <laughs> he is funny, though, our Toby. Yeah, Ever so is. funny. Um, wow. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing Toby back. But I'm glad to be sat next to you, my lovely, because I am a fan of the memory wire. So this yeah. masterclass is right up my street yeah i mean i mean it's really it's really easy basically isn't it and it's it helps to get a nice shape for a bangle because sometimes you might not be used to using a mandrel to do your wire work i'm not a great wire worker to be honest with you so mm -hmm. for this you don't really need very much wire work knowledge yeah. and you can still get the same sort of effect so yeah you yeah. don't yeah you definitely don't need to be a wire worker do you because it's just basically a form as you've just shown that you can literally feed yep. on um whichever whichever you wish i'm just sorry scooching that over for you now we've got a big selection of wonderful colors it's one size fits all with memory wire which is i think you it know is. um for those people that do their craft fairs and do their artisanal markets that's always that's always um a plus point isn't it because um, you know, when you actually look at, say, your seven-inch bracelets, bracelets and things like that, not everybody is that size. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But the memory wire will go onto whatever size you are. Um, I don't know if you want to show how to put on a memory wire ba bracelet, because mm -hmm. I didn't know this until I saw Jewelry Maker, to be honest uh -huh. with you. Uh-huh. So did I you just, just wrap them, them round? Yep. Here we go. Wrapping them round. Really easy to wear. There you go. And as you say, any size. Job done. Job done. 
how gorgeous that is. Absolutely incredible. Now, we have your memory wire bracelets in four different kits. Be a bit more gentle than I was just then. Um, and some of the colours are absolutely beautiful. Now, the first kit that I'm going to start with, I have just 44 of. Now, when we say memory wire, we're not just talking about a couple of rotations. <laughs> Each of these, am I right in saying have 14 coils? And you get that times five. But they're not just bracelets. They can be of hoop earrings. Not. Of course. I mean, this one is a necklace, necklace and an earring that I've made with the same, same memory wire. Yep. I love that. Yeah, big stars, especially with your nuggets. Go yeah. all out. Yeah. So five of those coils, um, which, yeah, 0.6 millimetres. So most of your gemstones will actually jump onto those. Yep. Um, I'll get back to you on the actual rotations. Then, look at all this labradite. It's one of your endless strands, 100 inches in total. A beautiful uh, cashmere, silver cashmere grey. Uh, labradorite, full of labradorescence, of course. Wonderful. So you're getting 15 coils. So it's even more. There we go. Uh, so that's 30, uh, 60, 60, 75. Yeah. 75 coils. Then you have a strand of beautiful hematite. 32 to 34 inches, 400 carats that you're getting there. Then iolite. That's perfect. Literally, I'd mix those three together. And still not done. You have citrine. Yeah, matte polish. So uh, um, actually more technically advanced than actually polishing your gemstones to give you that matte texture. And yet you would imagine that, particularly with a sort of softer color gemstone like uh, citrine, that that would maybe hinder our ability to see that color. It doesn't. It just no, gives you no, a different view. I mean, it really stands out from the... the um Labradorite. Yeah. Look how beautiful. So four amazing gemstones. In terms of carrot weights, you've got 60 carats of your citrine. Of your iolite, you're looking at 115 carats. Of your hematite, um, you've got 400. And then your labradorite, you actually have another 400 carats. So massive, massive carrot weights across all of these beautiful stones. And then 75 360 coils. Um, okay, this is called Stormy Skies. I love it. Dramatic. <laughs> That's a good description of those colours, isn't it? It is, actually. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, the perfect, perfect description. We only have 44 of these available at £21.99. Surely, again, that's the price of the Labradorite, isn't it? Because that's 100 inches that you're actually getting across that strand. And something that will, you know, the kits that you had earlier on, Monica, these will work perfectly with those kits. Oh, yes, of course. You can cross them over. Yep. And I'm actually going to use some of the wire from this morning's kits uh, in this demo as well. Mm. Hello. Yeah, I love that. So, yeah, perfect. They match. Because the, the memory wire is the frame then, isn't it, to the yeah, wire? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Hello to you, Hazel, saying, I have used memory wire oh. to go around candles with gemstones on. Oh, love oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, church candles. Because, again, it doesn't matter how big your candle is, the wire will go around it. I mean, obviously not, you know, sort of like a necklace-sized candle. No, but, but <laughs> yeah, you would go, you'd go for... And the ring ones but might go around with the small the smaller ones. smaller ones, yeah, but the necklace wire will go around the huge big candle, so, yeah. That's a nice idea. Yeah. Love the idea, Hazel. Thank you for getting in touch. Wiltshire, Alison, hello to you, Cheshire, Gabrielle, Sharon, Carol, Anne. Uh, Wanda, Christine, new customers, wonderful. Stay where you are. I've still got four kits to bring you. Remember, this is the, what, the most limited. There's only 44 of this kit available. Um, ooh, you're going to love this next kit. Just start dialing. If you love nuggets, start dialing now. Really? Is there a big quantity? That's good. Here's your memory wire. Look. There's even more memory wire in this one, isn't there? Is there? It looks. Or, or maybe not. Maybe not. 40, no, 15, 15 on yeah. each of no, those coils. Same. Yeah. Right, hang on. Stay there. Because I'm going to start with sunstone. 
natural sunstone. Isn't that beautiful? It's wonderful little copper, adventurescent patterns within. Where do I go from here? Mm. Malachite. 140 carats of malachite, 110 carats of your sunstone. Where do I go from here? Beautiful garnet. I love this kit. And I'm still not done. Check out this Amazonite. Oh my goodness, this kit's gorgeous. This kit is beautiful. Unbelievable. And all of which, am I right in saying a natural? Okay, bit of treatment to the sunstone. Other than that, natural amazonite, natural uh, malachite, natural garnet. Little bit of treatment to your sunstone. They're beautiful. You know what? You have hit the jackpot with this one because it's such a crazy low price tag. I'd pay it for the Amazonite. I'd definitely pay it for the Malachite as well and the Garnet and the Sunstone. It is the price of one strand. Wait until you see this. Oh, wow. £14.99. <laughs> so wait, if you can make this 75 coils or circles, so even if you half that and did double coilers, mm. so you're talking about, what, 30 say 36 yeah. yeah i know you'll have something left over 36 how much would you charge for a, a double coiler on a, on a on a craft fair oh 20 pounds 20 pounds yeah. i Dep think it so. depends on the gemstone obviously but yeah okay let's be conservative and say 10. And i mean the, the bracelets i'm going to show you actually only use one coil wow so that memory wire can go a very long way it can go a long 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 and the yeah. chips and nuggets will go a long 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 way yeah, yeah. Um, this is the jackpot. It, I tell you what, it's bread and butter. If you've got a business or you're thinking about starting a business, um, <coughs> Mark Smith used to always say that this was his biggest seller, the memory wire bracelets. Yes. Yes. And they're really what put him on the, in, in the limelight here yes. at Jewelry Maker. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Yeah, you do the maths. So if we say we can make 36 double coilers and you sold them at, what, £10, and I am being very conservative, <laughs> that's not a bad profit, is it? No. 360 odd quid, yeah, yeah. not bad at all for something that's going to be mm. quite enjoyable. Uh, Sheila, Sandra, Jacqueline, hello to you, Anthony and Kay, Sarah, Anne, Arthur, Susan and Brian, Sharon, Cindy, Sheila, uh, Jeannie, hello to you. Um, we had a big quantity, but they are flying out the vault super, super fast. What is there? A, is there a gemstone that you love the most? Ooh, out of those? Mm. Out of these? Mm. I think maybe the garnet. You got, yeah. But also, also you don't have to make all the gemstones into memory wire bracelets. You can, you can, because the strands are long enough to make a necklace and then make matching memory yeah. wire bracelets or something like that. You know, so you don't, you don't have to just make memory wire bracelets. You can put some of your memory wire. And aside the memory for, wire is, it, it, like you said, you've made that beautiful scalloped necklace. Yeah. So it, it's, it's wire with a memory, but exactly. we always say that's the bracelet size, but they're also yeah. fabulous, like Coachella's on at the moment, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, think about big, beautiful hoop earrings or yeah. using the form. Exactly, because get. it holds its shape, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to use it, as you say, as a bracelet mm -hmm. um, wire. You can, you can make really nice, um, almost like a, if you did that same effect, but with the ring wire, which we do have in at least one of the kits, yeah. uh, it would look almost like scales. Oh. Know, that sort of look. Oh, like um, the mermaid's tail. Yeah, so there's all sorts of things you can do with memory wire. It doesn't <coughs> have to be a bracelet or a necklace. Incredible. Make sure you do check out those baskets, though. Um, okay, I'll leave that with you because we've got more kits to bring you. Still available because we had a big quantity, but they are going super, super, super duper fast. Okay, I'm going to bring... I like this as well. Yes. Look, rose gold coloured memory wire. There's your five rotation. Natural lapis lazuli. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And neon appetite. Oh, look. Oh, that's beautiful. It's called waterfall. Yes. That is beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to separate those two strands so you can distinguish the colors. Natural lapis lazuli. Um, Wow. Neon appetite, and then of course your lovely rose gold colours mm. um, of your memory wire. £14.99. Um, 
I can't remember, but how much were our memory wire packs once upon a time? Can we remember? We... So, okay, okay, I can answer the question. These, literally these ones on their own, which are on, on, on our screens, actually, from time to time on their own, £7.99 for those. Yeah, that sounds about right. So that means you're paying, what, the difference for natural lapis lazuli and Leon Apatite. What, seven pounds then for the yeah <laughs> basically three pound fifty per strand yeah um, as I said yeah not only do you get the inspiration and the talents from our guest designers during uh, your masterclass and kit hours you also get massive savings too Sharon Mal Kello to Alison Wiltshire Gabrielle Yvette Christine Lanarkshire Alison new customer Janet Lee Tracy you're there Middlesex congratulations Janet make sure you check out your baskets and um, this is more limited I've got one final kit to bring you just dial now says Laura Ooh, ooh, ooh. at the moment have you notice all the all the blossoms that are about blossoms I almost said there. <laughs> It's like nature's confetti, isn't it? Ah, yes. Beautiful. It is, though. Right. I'm going to bring you a bit of blossom. Peridot. Oh, that's pretty. Start dialing now, Laura says. Rose quartz. How gorgeous that is. Ah, oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. I had to put those two together. I would as well. Necklace. Yeah. Moonstone, mm. peach moonstone, natural, and then for a bit of warmth, carnelian. Dial now, says Laura. If you love these gemstones, if you love those beautiful colours, dial nice and early. And then you have, for the first time and the only time actually, one of our memory packs, which are the necklace, the bracelet, and the rings. So here's where I got 14 from. You get 14 of uh, the ring coils, 14 of the bracelet and 10 of the necklace. How many do I have of this kit? 208. That's why we're doing something crazy, says Laura. Oh, Ooh, that necklace that. that you've done, I, I love that. And straight away, I was thinking about sort of your Japanese blossom. Yes. <gasps> 9.99. <What>? <laughs> Madness. <laughs> that is madness, isn't it? It is madness, yeah. I mean, look how nicely they ombre those three colours together. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know, that's, that's, that's a good price for the memory wire. Yeah. But you've got four amazing natural strands. So if we say it's four strands and we'll take the memory wire pack, so we've got five items in this kit. That's two pounds. Two pounds each. each. Two pounds. Yeah, you're right. Two pounds for the uh, for the for the rose quartz. Two pounds uh, for your Chiang Mai peridot. Two pounds for your peach moonstone. And two pounds for your carnelian. Two pounds for the memory wire pack. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Two pounds. Happy Nugget Day, everyone. Wow. Um, yeah, great way of actually sort of working with. Oh, well, an introduction, I suppose, to actually working with these lovely. Uh, um, Cuts, I know that's not the best description, but you get the idea. Uh, yes, I mean, yeah, I mean, even you can get children involved in this. I mean, for nine Totally. Nine, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And that'll keep um, them busy for a long time. <laughs> We should mention. We should mention as well. Do not cut your memory wire with your normal flush cutters. Use memory wire cutters. Yeah. Because they will Definitely. destroy your cutters. It's a uh, wire with a memory, so it's incredibly, incredibly strong. Now, there are tons of you there, so we're leaving your graphics with you. Um, we're going to go to the demonstration. Stay where you are on those phone lines. As you can see, there's, as you can imagine, there is a queue, um, but a big queue. But don't worry, our call centre are awesome. When we say big queue, we're talking about a couple of minutes rather than sort of the 45, 50 that you can find some, uh, from some companies. Or alternatively, all the demos at jewelrymaker.com. Um, or download the app. Monica, which of your beautiful designs are you going well, to show? Well, I'm going to show you this one here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Amazing. Okay. Because sometimes you get gemstones that don't go directly onto the memory wire. And I think this is a really nice way to almost create um, almost like a bead out of your yeah. gemstones that you can then thread onto your memory wire. 
And as I was saying earlier, it, it makes a really full bracelet, but you're only using one coil of your memory wire to make one of those. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so I've already made, so this is what we're going to make. Uh, I don't know if we have any of the gizmo uh, coil. We'll have a little look. Website, any of those. We'll have a look. So we're going to make these little gizmo coils with the um, gemstones. Now, um, it's a little bit different than if you're using seed beads, but I'll try and um, talk you through it. Also, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to show the gizmo coil here. Obviously, I had to attach it to the table. Which one am I using this one? Um, our gizmo tool is currently out of stock. However, we will be reordering it because it is an incredibly popular tool. Plus, I think a lot of people already have it anyway. So Yeah, true. Right, so I'm using... Um, it doesn't really matter which of your mandrels you use. Uh, you can use the thickest one, you can use the thinner one. I used a, a sort of a medium one um, for my gemstones. It doesn't really matter. Your coils are not going to change in size that much. Um, it's just this little end bit. If I can show you here. I can show it to you that. So this little end bit is what's going to be a different size depending on um, which coil you use. Now, I've lost my memory wire somewhere. Do you want me to pass you some? No, it's right. I've, can't, I've got some more. Oh, I gave it to Toby. He must have left with it. <laughs> yes, he squirreled, he squirreled it, hasn't he? <laughs> right. I can't say blame him. So obviously your memory wire is quite thin, so it, that's why I say it doesn't really matter which of your um, gizmo um, mandrels you use. Uh, I didn't want the beads to be too loose on the memory wire, so that's why I use sort of like a medium-sized one, but you can see it quite easily goes, goes in there. So, Okay. So, you're going to use uh, some 0.4 wire, which we had in the morning kits, uh, but we usually have some wire on the website as well anyway. I've pre-threaded some of the gemstones here so that you don't have to watch me threading all the gemstones. I'm just going to shift those down. Actually, I'm going to start on the other end of the wire. So, first you're going to take your empty end of your wire, okay? Then you're going to go over to your gizmo coil, and you're going to attach the wire to this little end here, which is sticking up, okay? So just twist the wire on there. It doesn't really matter how you do it, as long as it's attached so that it's, uh, it stays on there. Okay? So you've got your wire coming out there. And then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to twist the wire around your mandrel. So bring your mandrel into the little stand, which you've attached to the table. Now I've put a bit of paper, you can see there, under it, because if you, especially if you attach it to your dining table, you don't want it to get damaged or anything. So just put a bit of paper underneath just to make sure. Um, and then you're going to start twisting your gizmo coil. Okay, so we're going to make um, probably about 10 coils. And you can see it makes up really easily. I'm not pushing or pulling the, the mandrel at all. I'm just kind of letting the wire sort of do its own thing. Okay, so you want to start off your bead by doing a little bit of an empty coil there that you can see there. Okay, then you're going to thread onto your 0.4 wire. Now, to make each of these beads, I threaded it on about 15 centimetres of beads. Now, I haven't quite got 15 centimetres here, but for purposes of the demo, this will do. Okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to bring your beads down to your gizmo. Now, as I was saying earlier, it's a little bit different to when you're using um, seed beads, for example, because your seed beads will slide along this wire quite easily because there's a big hole in your seed beads. But your gemstones, um, obviously it's an organic shape, so it's, it, if if the gemstone is angled a little bit differently, it doesn't necessarily slide on your wire. So you want to be a little bit careful with your gemstones when you're making a coil with your gemstones. Now, I've slid them all down to the gizmo coil, but what I want to do is slide some of them up a little bit. If you twist them around, they slide easier because then um, it's harder for them to get caught in the wire. So just bring them up a little bit, okay, so that they're not all tightly squashed down. Because if you can imagine, when you start twisting this around your coil, they're going to want to start to spread out a little bit. And if they don't have the room to spread out, what's going to happen is they're going to start um, getting damaged and breaking because they don't have space uh, to fit. Okay, So as soon as you feel your coil getting a little bit tight, just loosen them up a little bit. You'd rather leave a little bit of gap on the wire than to be damaging all your gemstones that you have coiled onto there. So you just keep going until you've used up all of your 15 centimeters worth of your gemstones, okay? So when you get to the end, and you just keep coiling again, and you do another little section of just your bare wire, 
to finish off your little bead. Okay, about the same as what you did at the, at the beginning. I didn't count the coils or anything like that. I just did it by eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take this away. I'm going to bring it over to the overhead camera. Right, so we've got our little bead on there. Now this is a bit shorter than the other ones, but don't worry too much about that for the purpose of the demo. That's why if you, if you measure the length of beads that you thread onto your wire uh, before you thread them on, then you'll get all the same sized beads. You can see those are pretty much the same size. Okay, so then you're just going to cut it off the wire. Now I'm just using my ordinary wire cutters to cut this wire. Okay, and then you want to get it off your mandrel. So you want to cut this wire here, which is attaching to the bit that's twisted onto your mandrel. So you just cut that and then your bead will slide off. Now just be a little bit careful when you slide it off because sometimes the coils at the ends can get caught, especially on the end of your mandrel, and you don't want to damage it. You don't want to pull it from this end because obviously that's going to pull the whole thing apart because it's basically like a little spring. But obviously it's not memory wire, so because your memory wire will jump back into the spring shape, this wire won't because it's just your, your normal wire. So just push it from the inside end, and take it off of there really carefully. So there's your little bead done, okay? So now to make the actual bracelet. So you're gonna take your memory wire. Don't cut it off the coil at this point. I like to thread on my, all my beads first and then uh, cut it off the coil just because uh, you don't know how much you're gonna need most of the time. Um, so you don't want to waste any if you don't have to. So just leave it on the coil, it really doesn't matter anyway. Uh, now I've picked out some of my gemstones because some of them will go straight onto the memory wire. So I've got a little uh, pile of those there, which will go straight onto the memory wire. So what I did with this one is I threaded on two or three um, of my gemstones just straight onto the memory wire. This is going to be riveting television watching me thread these on. <laughs> I find it therapeutic. <laughs> I like watching. Um, and this is obviously 0.6, the thickness of your, uh, of your memory wire, so it will go through all of your nuggets. Well, now I tested all of these at home, and they all went on when I was at home, but of course, live television. Maybe, maybe I have a little blob on the end. Let me just cut a little bit off. Because sometimes if you, if you um, put a scratch in the end of your memory wire, then it makes it harder for the gemstones to go on. So this is where your memory wire cutters come in. So um, we do sometimes have this on the website as well. Um, I have been known to steal my husband's pliers when he wasn't very happy with me because I damaged those as well. <laughs> uh -huh. So just get some memory wires. It's really worth it if you're going to be making memory wire jewellery. Okay, and then try again to thread on your gemstones. Oh, there we go, that's better, you see. Of course, now because I've taken these off the strand, I've got to do them one by one, so just bear with me. I'm only going to put on about five of them here. Okay, and again, if you turn them around, because obviously memory wire also has a, um, a, a curve in it. So, and this one's going to get stuck. Let me take that one off again. I promise these all went on when I tested them at home. That's all right. So good. To, good. It's because good that it happens to even our designers. Because memory wire has got a curve in it, so if you imagine the hole in your gemstone needs to be that much bigger mm. for the curve to go through. Um, so that's why usually the flatter uh, chips and nuggets will go onto your memory wire a lot easier than your straight ones. And now I can't see where the hole is because I can't lean in. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. Okay, so basically, I'm just threading on a few of these. This will be enough, I think. Okay. Right. Did I use a different memory wire at home? Because I promise these all went on nice and easy. Oh, there we go. Okay, so thread on a few of your little gemstones. And then you're going to take your little bead that you've made. You're going to thread that on. That obviously goes on much easier because your memory wire just goes straight through. If you're doing a longer piece, because I did one of the bracelets I did, I did a long, long section of the beads uh, threaded onto my 0.4 wire. And uh, I sided the whole bracelet just with the gizmo coil bead. You, you can do that too. And it still goes through quite easily because obviously you've got a, quite a large gap in the middle of your gemstones. So just thread on your bead as if it were just a bead on its own. OK. 
Okay, oh, there we go, that's better. I think there might be a kink in my memory wire because obviously if you put a kink in it, then it's going to make it harder to get your gemstones on there. Okay, and then you can put a few more of your gemstones on. No, they're not behaving today, are they? Or oh, alternatively, what I did on one of the bracelets is I, I used some metal spacer beads. So if you really can't oh, yeah. get your gemstones on there, you can put some metal spacer beads in between. Or you can, you can just leave them without anything in between as well. Um, or as I said, you can just make one long coil and thread that on. No, it's not happening today. <laughs> Never mind. Let's say I've put on a few of them there. Then you're just going <coughs> to put your next little bead. You're going to put that on through there. Okay, then put on a few more of your gemstones and then your third little bead because I want to show you rather how to finish off the, the bangle rather than messing around here with the gemstones that are never going to, going to behave on live television. Right. <laughs> So then you're going to take, once you've threaded on whatever bead you have uh, on there for your bracelet, then you're going to use your round nose pliers. Now you need um, a fairly strong pair of round nose pliers because um, the memory wire is really, really tough. So um, these are the ones that come in our toolkit actually, and they, they work just fine. So I'm going to take the end of the wire in my pliers, and I'm going to turn a loop outwards. So I've got my bangle going around, so I'm turning it towards the outside of the, of the memory wire coils, okay? Obviously, you have to apply a little bit more pressure than with your normal wire, but you can turn a loop in there, so you can see it there, and go a little bit past the, um, the inner coil, uh, because if you don't go uh, far enough, then your coil or something can get caught into the end of your, um, of your memory wire. So you want to go past the end of it a little bit, just a little bit, so it doesn't scratch you when you're wearing it, but, but not sort of, um, you don't want to leave a gap there, basically, okay? And then what you're going to do, so you're going to bring your beads all the way back to your uh, loop that you've made on that end, okay? And then you can see how much wire you're going to need. So leave a little bit of a section, maybe a centimetre and a half on the other end, and then you're going to use your memory wire cutters again, okay? And then you're going to create another loop on the other end, just like that. Again, go past where you started from, okay? And then it's just a case of attaching um, your clasp. Now, you don't have to have a clasp on a memory wire bracelet, obviously. If you made it a little bit longer to come all the way around, you don't need a clasp on it at all, and then you just put it on your hand. But uh, I still like to have a clasp on the single ones because obviously it's quite easy to get a caught on something and then it will just pull off. Uh, so I still like to put on a clasp, and you can put a clasp on it just like with any other bracelet, you know, just because uh, you can use it without a clasp doesn't mean you have to, especially if you're doing a necklace as well. Um, uh, then even more so, I like to put a clasp on the back because especially if you have a really heavy necklace, then the, the weight of the gemstones might uh, pull your necklace down. So I like to have an extension chain and a, uh, a clasp on the back of a necklace especially. Okay, and then put your clasp on, and then I'll show you how I made the other ones quickly, just explain. So that's it really. So I mean, that's really easy to make. All you need to be able to do is the, is the gizmo coils really, and then you just add them on as beads. And then if I can show you, oh, I'll bring this over quickly. So this one is the one that I mentioned. That's lovely. Yeah, where it's just one long coil. So you can see I've got the little empty coils on the end. And then I've added on in the sections, I've measured out the sections so that each section is the same length. Again, when it was threaded onto the wire, I threaded them on all in one length. So I had um, about eight centimeters threaded on of the one gemstone, then eight centimeters of the next one, and so on and so on. So all my sections are the same length. Um, the necklace, if I bring it over quickly, so the necklace is made in the same way. Um, the difference is with the necklace, I mixed up two of the gemstones, so I just did them randomly um, onto I the... That kit was 9 99 Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That's what this is, this is from. So this is the 9 99 kit. 
Um, I mean, just this necklace would be nice for 9.99, I think. Yeah, I mean, I hardly used any of the gemstones on this, and I used one coil of the necklace wire. Um, and again, I put a clasp on the end so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't fall off. But again, I just did one long coil, and I added that onto my necklace wire. And the coil is quite fe flexible, so you know you can you can bed it into a bracelet, mm. or you can stretch it out longer for the necklace. Um, and then, uh, where, which one did I want to show you? This one here. So this one, I mean, most of you have seen this kind of bracelet before. This one is just threaded onto the memory wire, and then you, this one you don't need a clasp because as soon as you have more than one coil, it's not going to be able to pull off your hand because uh, you need to twist it. Well, it'll be twisted around your wrist, so even if it gets caught, it's not going to come off. And then this one, again, I did the same as the one that I just showed you with the beads, except this one I put the, um, as I said earlier, I just put like a metal rose gold bead in between my beads there. And then again, you can have four of these beads. You can have, you could have two coils with beads, these um, gizmo beads all along. So there's all sorts of different uh, options that you can do with the same sort of technique, that one and then the necklace. So they're all made in exactly the same way just with slight variations. You're amazing. You really are. And that's what I love about it. You know, you've got that foundation. Yeah. You've and you can certainly get really got creative. the massive carrot weights in those kits. And of course you can put, um, I mean, with these ones, you can put um, a larger round gemstone in between your mm -hmm. gizmo coils as well. If you, if you have some, the only thing you've got to remember is, as I said, uh, because you've got a curve in your memory wire, you need to have a gemstone that's got a large enough hole in it, So, especially if it gets bigger. So if you're putting a 12 mm. millimeter gemstone on, you need to just make sure that the hole, I mean, you'll see because you try to thread it on and you see if it goes through or not. Um, the hole needs to be fairly big so that it can accommodate <coughs> the curve in the wire. If you're putting on a six millimeter gemstone, uh, it doesn't have to be quite as big because then on a smaller section, obviously the wire doesn't curve as much. Yeah. But you can put your, you know, your larger gemstones in between your little gizmo coils as well. Um, so yeah, you can get you can get really creative and it's really easy. Absolutely, you know? I, I love it. I love it, and I'm just thinking back to the eight o'clock hour. We had some of those lovely shell pearls as well to yes. go alongside, yes. which would look fabulous, wouldn't it? All the pink um, ones, oh, pink yeah. ones with the nine ninety nine kit. Yeah. Now, little extra memory wire bundle for you all. I know you've got it in the kits, but for those of you that maybe are looking for um, to stock up your stash, everything that's not your price. This and it is it 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 is. It's not the team here. It's not myself. It's it's. Don't know why. Uh, it's a glitch, isn't it? And we and we. When we fix your price that's on your screens right now, apparently the start price goes, I don't know what it is, the IT system. <laughs> anyway, seven ninety nine. So yeah, I mean at the end of the day, if you're well if you if you if you've got your right, I'm making memory wire today. Yeah. You've got all your gemstones laid out. Yeah. You're all good to go. And really, I mean if you have larger whole uh, large beads. Uh, and you just want to thread them on, the only tool you're going to need is your memory wire cutter. That's it. Yeah. And you said you want something you can make with the kids. Oh, yes, and your round those pliers to make the hoop at the end. But that's it, pretty much. That's yeah. about it. That's yeah. literally about it. Um, so, little, 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 little stock up your stash opportunity at £7.99. pence. Some holidays will be here before you know it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Willow went back to school literally this today, begrudgingly. Oh. I need to point out. <laughs> um, is your is your son there? He was back last week. So last week, okay, yeah, yeah, it was today for Willow. Seven ninety nine, but you need to keep him entertained, don't you? And it costs a small fortune. But not only that, you can make some really beautiful adjustable jewellery at seven pounds ninety nine. But you know, not only uh, you know, I'm looking to my um, peripheral um, and social oh. media. I've got a massive giveaway. Um, on their Facebook pages. Have a little look on all, in, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com uh, Facebook page, so Jewelry Maker. Um, basically, there's lots of, there's, there's a few things that you need to do. You need to like, share, comment, things like that. Um, one of you will win that. Let's bring you the rose gold colour. You'll need a and few, then I'll bring you some more nuggets. You'll need a few packs of your memory wire to go with that bundle, won't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, this is the thing. You're going to have to stock up on your memory wire because that's going to be the first thing that you run out, run out of. That being said, there's 75 of each. There's 75 360 coils. coils. Yeah. So, so this bracelet that I made, you could make 75 of them from that pack. That's amazing. <laughs> that is, yeah. That works out to like 10p or 11p. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, about 10p each. 
seven pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of your uh so it's stainless steel memory wire with a rose gold coloring over the top and you know certain gemstones you in the same way you would do your silks and your beading threads and things like that you would gravitate towards you gravitate towards sort of certain gemstones so for example you know rose what would you choose off the tea bar the garnet the garnet or the amethyst the amethyst yeah or the rose quartz or any of the greens <laughs> yeah you would wouldn't you because you don't want it to sort of detract away from the quality of the stones and that's amazing garnet oh should we do it now is that not amethyst sorry amethyst oh. amethyst look look at the color from here from that distance you're what do you reckon two and a half three meters away look at the quality of that color wow this has been this hasn't been on your screen since february last year i don't know why yeah that's what i'm wearing i don't know if it's the same stratton but it's the same you're wearing amethyst right now yeah, yeah. oh that's beautiful quality yes um a, a, a little birdie tells me that Zambian amethyst is no longer being mined in that location. Sadly, it's got too uh, it's got too expensive that um, it's no longer financially viable, which is a crying shame if that is true, um, because the quality that you get from Zambia it's that it's that chocolate box purple, isn't it? Absolutely oh, yes. beautiful chocolate box purple. Would you like now? Bear in mind this is two hundred and fifty centimeters. Mm. Two hundred and fifty. <laughs> wow. Two and a half meters. Yeah. Would you like it under ten pounds? Oh gosh! There are sixty-seven of these available. Tracy, Virginia, Christine, Barbara, Gabrielle, Jeanette. Hello to you, West Midlands. Anthony and Kay, uh, Ali, Janet, Olwyn, Barbara. You're there as well. Dale, good luck. Um, Janet, well done. Oh my goodness me! Completely and utterly natural. It's beautiful. So all of the techniques that you've demonstrated today, Monica, yep. would work. They would absolutely. Yep. And amethyst being one of the most commercially recognized gemstones that exists yeah win-win and I actually had a thought um where i've put the little beads in between the gizmo calls you could actually hang a charm up there as well oh that's a nice idea yeah. half the stock's gone on this one yeah you know what Te let's test this theory we're each going to go home tonight and i want you to say to your uh to to, to your family family friends whoever it is yes yes Name a gemstone. See which one they come back at you at. <laughs> I know that my husband will say something really weird. <laughs> something really weird just to, be, just to be awkward. But most would say diamonds, amethyst, ruby, sapphires, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, most of, most of them would do. It's got to be up there on that list. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know what Willow would say. Tiger eye. <laughs> Tiger eye. Uh, that's her favourite. It's beautiful. Again, like that neon appetite that we had a few moments ago. Look at that. Look at that colour. Even from... I'm struggling oh, to hold well. it on. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. No. Look at that colour. Oh. I do not have Nilamane. Check out your baskets, everybody. Nilamani. Now, it's not us that actually named this gemstone Nilamani. It's actually the locals. Mm. Um, and it means precious blue. So, you know, they liken, it has been hailed and likened to um, the beauty that you find within Kashmir sapphires. Absolutely exquisite and completely and utterly natural. Now, just to tell you the rarity of Nilamani, um, there are 10 of these available. Uh, 10 available in the world. It's close to selling out already. Uh, Dave Troth, who's with me tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow morning on the show, and also Jake Thompson and Steve Bennett all went on this amazing adventure um, to the mountain range of Nepal in because they'd heard a rumour about this beautiful new blue gemstone that had been discovered by the locals. Um, this was it. It's all natural. And that's a long strand for Nilamani, 60 inches. That's very true. Yeah. Nilamani, you would expect it to be sort of, what, at most 25, 30 yeah. centimetres? 60 inches? Is that 150 centimetres then? Yes. Yes. Wow. There's one left. Mm. One left. Amazing. Well done. Um, topaz. Oh, my goodness me. 
Oh. I'd use this with, well, all of the above. Yeah. All, all the strands we have. Yeah. yeah. It's that pop of brilliance, isn't it? Mm. If you missed out on the, uh, on the crystal clear quartz that we had earlier on, here's an alternative, but in the nugget form. I always say a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. Now, this is what we were talking about at eight o'clock this morning. It's that liquid yes. little droplets, oh, isn't it, of yes, water. Yes. I would put it on monofilament, actually, the same as with the clear quartz, so that you don't add any colour. You just see its natural, natural appearance, really. Natural. You've almost got your imperial... To well, you have. You've got some of these with, with imperial colours. That's your golden topaz. Um, again, a full 60 centimetre strand. Just because you're bringing, we're bringing you sort of your uh, uh, your nuggets, you know, they, they haven't been calibrated, they haven't had to go, okay, you must be a rambly cut, you must be a princess cut, etc. Showcasing what Mother Nature actually intended doesn't mean that it can't be for your special sort of red carpet events or maybe um, your bridal commissions. Yes. How about... Oh. Should we do it now? It's like the gold version and the silver version. Yeah. <laughs> there are only 42. Liquid gold. Beautiful citrine. Should we take it under £10? Oh, and it's the gemstone of craft, as we say it every single time. But citrine, yeah, is believed to aid your creativity. Also believed to actually bring you prosperity and wealth. Well, I'm all for that. Pop a little citrine in your pocket. There are only 40 of these and there are tons of you there already. Uh, Gabrielle, uh, Janice, hello to you. Liz, Lincolnshire, Merseyside, Michael, Jean, you've got yours. Julie, you've got yours. Teresa, Alison, I can't keep up. Liz, well done to you. I've also got Rhea, Penny, Janet, Anthony and Kay, Maya in Paris. Good morning, everybody. Half the stock has gone. Look at that colour. You've got... Oh, it's beautiful. Buttercups. Honey. <laughs> it's almost honey, isn't it? Yeah, I get honey because it is like liquid, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. <gasps> oh, like melted butter. <laughs> Something really <laughs> naughty and delicious like that. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um Oh yeah, that's this one. Yeah, it's lovely. Can we do it now? And I'd put do it together. This is a summer meadow. Oh. Aventurine. Um, a little bit more formed. Do you see where I'm getting, where I'm coming from? You've got a little bit more of a sort of cubular-like shape. Green aventurine. Um, beautiful gemstone that has a, a wonderful glow from the inside, a beautiful, what we call, described as aventurescence. I love aventurine. I think it's one of those gemstones that doesn't quite get the status um, that it completely deserves. Again, along, teamed up alongside, it's very Jade-esque. In fact, it's in, in, over in China, many people will use or describe aventurine as a type of Jade. And I can see why. There's similarities there. You've got a translucency. You've got that almost aspirational imperial green colour. 60 inches that you're getting here again. I can't take away that the citrine because that's the sunshine to my meadow. <laughs> yes. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Isn't that beautiful? The citrines are on the verge of selling out, though. It is. It, that's 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 uh, that's you know walking to a quintessential English meadow, having a picnic underneath the branches of a beautiful oak tree. Yes, and that's all come from Vaventurine, That has. Um, let's do what? That's not Morganite. I did think it was rose quartz. I think I showed oh, I it, it to you as rose quartz. quartz as well. Oh. Oh, wow. On, uh, on what planet did it become normal wow. for us to bring you natural morganite? The rarity of morganite as a member of the Beryl family. Normally under £10. When did that start happening? <laughs> or did it not? Because I don't recall. Stop it now, stop it. How many have you got of these, Laura? You know it's an amazing deal, that's why so many of you are there. Five pounds and 99 pence. Oh my goodness me, it'll go beautifully with the cries of praise. Oh yes. Oh. 
actually, when you look at it up close, it is very different to rose quartz, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. You've got e even more of that sort of, well, it's more pink, isn't it? It is, yeah. Far more. Um, do you know what would look lovely with this? Oh, yes. Wait until you see this garnet. Mm. Oh, I love that. Orissa garnet, and you can see. You can see the quality in this strand. Uh, Morganite's on the verge of selling out, so well done that managed to get hold of that one. Straight into 60 carats of Orissa garnet. Again, completely natural. We discussed it earlier on when we, were, uh, when we had the Mandarin garnet opportunity. Known for, as a gemstone family, known for its refraction. So what that basically means... It, it, it plays with light, like, 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 like a little pussycat that would do with a ball. It literally bounces it around. Um, it loves to be in natural sunlight. So you're looking at it, technically speaking, at its worst. So you think about, apparently it's gloriously sunny outside. I don't know, I've not seen daylight yet. <laughs> um, but um, imagine this beautiful gemstone oh. draped around your neck alongside something decadent like pearls. And all that lovely refraction going on. Makes me think on. of summer fruit. Oh. You know, like berries and that sort Pomegranate. of thing. Pomegranates. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> garnet, completely natural. So, oh, I mean, okay. 7.99. Our 38 centimetre strands never used to be that. No. <laughs> Ruth, you'll remember that, won't you? Is she still in the gallery? She's oh, she popped out. Ruth? Yes? You remember our 38 centimetre nugget strands? 38? Yeah, 38 centimetre. Oh, sorry, 84. 84 centimetre nugget strands. Remember them? Almost a metre. A long, long time ago. Um, and I still remember. <laughs> do you remember them being 7 99 No. No. Well, do you remember a 60 inch strand being 7 99 Lots of numbers and 150 centimetres then? No. 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 Just no. 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 Oh. Furthermore, Arissa Garnet. It's gonna it's flying out the door. I can squeeze one more in. Garnet. Oh, in Arissa wow. Garnet. Wow. Which one? I pick. You want me to pick? No. Monica, you pick. What's the black one? Tourmaline. Oh. Good choice. Oh, they're big too. Yeah. That's why I picked those because drop nuggets, yeah. Because, because if you look, yeah. if you look at where the drill hole is, yep. they will drop. It's uh, Laura's contesting to this one. <laughs> Natural black tourmaline still has complexities. Yes, okay, it's one of the more abundant colours of your tourmaline um, as a gemstone, but it is still incredibly rare, and it is still a completely natural, genuine gemstone. This, however, premiering today. What? Four pounds and 49 <laughs> pence. Crazy. Wow. Absolutely crazy. Alongside your citrine. Wow. Look, you can see it's going to complement absolutely everything. Um, Monica, uh, as always, I love being with you during the oh, live thank show. You. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, Do you know when you're back? Um, I've got a bit of a break now, so probably about middle of May. Put your feet up for a little bit. <laughs> I don't blame you because we do I have to work catch up hard. everything that gets left behind. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, the chaos. I'm back with you tomorrow where I'm joined by the fantastic Dave Troth. You have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon.